Congratulations, Diego. You won first place for creating your own AI. Thanks, Principal Salt. Wait, where are Mom and Maya? They're supposed to be here. What the? Are those explosions? Everyone, evacuate now! Holy guacamole! Take a look at that! Ooh, a hot dog! Sorry, wait up, guys! Oh my gosh, it's Maya! You picked the wrong day to mess with Celestia! <laughs> You're just a puny girl! You can't beat me! Ah! Whoa! Mom, where were you? You missed me winning the science fair. Shush! No, no, Diego. Your sister's a hero. You don't care about me at all, do you? Just, just say it. You love her more than me. Incredible job, honey. You did great. Go, Celestia. Yeah, see? That's what I thought. No one seems to have gotten hurt. Of course, darling. You were fantastic. Let's celebrate with dinner. You pick the place. I I'm not sure. Diego, what do you think? <laughs> Doesn't matter what he thinks. You're the hero today, Maya. You deserve to be spoiled and celebrated. Wow. Thanks, Mom. You know, I have something important I want to share with both of you guys. What is it, Diego? I won first place at the... Diego, don't try to steal the spotlight from your sister. It's her night, not yours. Celestia! Celestia! You're my favorite superhero ever! Can I get a selfie, please, please? Uh, sure. Hey, loser! Get out of the frame, please! Wow, thank you so much, Celestia. This is awesome! Look, what I was trying to say was... Enough, Diego. Let's go. Maya, guess what? The mayor is giving you an award. Again! Wait, what were you gonna say? You know what, Maya? It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm just gonna go home. Aren't you gonna join us for dinner? Nope. Enjoy your spotlight, Celestia. Hey, are you doing okay? If I'm being honest, no, I'm not. It's mom. She loves you more than me and it's obvious. That's not true. Yeah, it is. You're the superhero, just like dad was. You make him and mom proud and I'm just here. I'm just like a leftover. Dad was a scientist too, remember? You're following into his footsteps. I know, I just... I don't know, I wish I was a hero like you guys. Maybe then mom would notice me and, and appreciate what I do. I just miss dad so much. And I miss him too, but I know he would be so proud of you. Yeah, maybe. I hope so at least. What are you working on anyway? It's my science project. It's, it's the thing that I won first place at the fair for. But I, I don't know, I think I can make better. That's amazing. Uh, hold on a second. Ugh, there's a superhero emergency. I have to go. Duty calls. Diego, hurry up! We're gonna be late for your sister's big ceremony! Oh no, I totally forgot. Uh, sorry. What on earth are you doing? Let's go! Look, I was working on something important, okay? Calm down. If we miss Celestia's ceremony because of you, you're grounded! Look, I just lost track of time on my project, okay? Why is that not important to you at all, too? Supporting your sister is more important than some stupid science fair project. She's a superhero. And now, you're not even trying to hide the fact that you care about her more than me. Do you even know how that makes me feel? That's different, Diego. What Maya does is very important. I just want you to be proud of me, Mom. That's all I ever wanted. I'd be proud of you if you were more responsible. Look, we didn't miss a thing. I'd like to give this outstanding citizen award to our local superhero, Celestia! Thank you so much, Mr. Mayor. I'm honored. Yay, Celestia! Woo! She's just like your father, isn't she? Yep, just like him. Thanks for the extra hard drive, dude. Yeah, don't mention it. What'd you need it for anyways? I need it to update my AI's program. This is gonna be big, man. Is this actually going to work? It better. Let's see. Update complete. Hello, my name is Athena 2.0. Sweet, it actually worked. You named your AI Athena? Yeah, dude, goddess of wisdom. Huh? Oh, look, dude, you gotta read more history books, all right? Diego, stop what you're doing right now. I have a project for you. Hello, Jesse. Hi, Miss Molina. Can it wait, mom? I need to run some tests on Athena. What? That's not important. I want all this stuff gone. What? Why? I'm turning this into a special superhero workout space for your sister. But this is dad's lab and, and all of this stuff. He said that I could have it. This is mine. Oh, please. Your father would understand. You know what, mom? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not moving. Oh, really? Okay, then. Wait, what are you doing? Stop. No. I want all this junk cleared out in an hour. Get moving. Can't believe she would do this. I was so close to finishing my project and now everything is ruined. Oh, it's okay, man. Let's just move the rest of your stuff to my place. We can work on it there. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. New update complete. My name is Athena 3.0. How may I assist you today, Diego? Yes, it worked. This is incredible, dude. You made your own AI. Yes, I am incredible. Do you require assistance today? Uh, yeah. Can you order us a large pepperoni pizza, please? Of course. Ordering large pepperoni pizza now. Dude, hold on. You didn't just make this to order pizza, did you? No, what? No, I'm just hungry. Look, I have something much bigger planned for it. I promise. Mom, I'm sick of doing press interviews. I've been doing them all day. Well, honey, that's what happens when you're a famous superhero. Hey, Maya, do you have time to hang out with me today? Of course. I feel like I haven't seen you in weeks. Yeah, because you haven't. Plus, I have something I want to show you. Well, sorry, Diego. Maya can't hang out with you. What? Why not? Yeah, why not? You are very, very busy, sweetie. You're a real superhero after all. You don't have time to just hang out. Can't that stuff wait? No, Diego, it can't. And I'm sick of you distracting Maya. I'm just trying to show her something that I made for her, okay? You made something for me? Enough, Maya. You don't need to waste your time with Diego's stupid little projects. We need to stitch up your car. Costume. Oh, sorry, Diego. Maybe later? Uh, he, yeah, sure. I just need to get out of this house. I'm sick and tired of all of this. Mom just keeps pushing me aside from Maya. I, I don't know. Ever since Dad died, that's all she cares about. It's like I don't even exist anymore. You know, I'm kind of hungry. Oh, wow. Look, Dad's favorite snack. I'll get this for him. Hey, you creepy loser. Put your scrawny little hands up and give me all the money. Hey! I curl like 25 pounds, okay? My arms aren't scrawny! <laughs> ah, no! That'll teach you. Oh no! Quimby! Hey, stop! Excuse me, who do you think you are? I'm Diego. Oh my gosh, who cares? You can't just rob Quimby like that, okay? I'm Frostbite. I can do whatever I want, and I'll freeze you just like that creep inside. Oh no, you're not. You're gonna leave my brother alone! Oh! This is your brother, huh? <laughs> ah! Diego, no! Uh, am I in the hospital? Diego! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, you too, sis. Wait, what happened to me? Frostbite attacked you, so I fought her off, but she escaped. You're right, Frostbite escaped because of you! What the heck, Mom? That's not my fault! Of course it is! You got in the way and distracted your sister. If you hadn't been at that gas station, Maya wouldn't have lost your first fight! Look, I wasn't there on purpose, okay? And I was knocked out! I don't care! Now a new villain is still out on the loose and Maya looks weak because of you! No, it wasn't his fault! It was mine! I've been so stressed out lately and Frostbite is a powerful supervillain. She got the better of me. How could she get the better of you, honey? You're the best! No, I'm not! You know what, Mom? I think you're putting way too much pressure on her. No, your sister is just upset that you made her lose. Way to go, Diego. I am so disappointed in you. Wait, what's this? An email from Stark Industries? Oh my gosh! Hey, Mom! Maya! I have huge news! Not now, Diego. Your sister is training. No, this is important. Look, I just got an email. I'm gonna present my project to Tony Stark. The Tony Stark? Iron Man? Yeah, yeah, him! Oh my gosh, this is incredible! Yeah, and look, I want you guys both to come with me, okay? It's a lot of pressure. It's Tuesday morning. Well, Maya and I will be busy, so we can't go. We have something else planned. Wait, what? What do you mean? Mom, it's Tony Stark. But no, let me guess. Maya's more important than me, right? Stop this, Diego. No, I'm not going to stop. I want you guys both there. You're my mother for crying out loud. And this is important to me. You know what? I can't stand your attitude. You are grounded. No presentation for you. No, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Watch me. This is so stupid. She took my keys and she won't even let me leave my room. Hey, listen, I know you're upset. Yeah, I I'm upset, Maya. I can't believe mom won't even just take me to one presentation. She'll do anything for you, literally anything. But she doesn't support me at all. You know, if dad were here, I know that he would make at least just the smallest amount of time for me. You're right. 
We're not going to let her ruin this for you. Thanks, but I don't think I'm going to be able to change her mind. Oh, no, we won't. But luckily, we don't have to. What do you mean? I'm a superhero, remember? I can fly. You're going to help me? Of course I will. You're not missing the meeting with THE Tony Stark. Okay, let's hurry up before Mom wakes up. Hold on tight. Oh, my gosh. This is really Tony Stark's office? Okay, I can't believe this is happening. Believe it, kid. You're here early. Huh, very nice. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Stark. Of course it is. By the way, I knew your father. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. He was a great man, an even better superhero. Yeah, he was. So, rumor has it you made yourself your own custom AI, huh? And you're only in high school? Yes, sir. Uh, I'm a senior right now, but I'm going to be graduating soon. Good. Let me see your work. Hello, my name is Athena 3.0. How may I assist you, Mr. Stark? Athena, huh? Catchy name. I like it. Yes, sir. What do you think? Well, this looks very, very impressive. I mean, it's a little childish, but I'll look over the code. Maybe give you some notes. Pretty good job, Diego. Wow, thank you, sir. Before you go, tell me, what is this AI really for? Well, it's kind of a long story. Oh man, that was incredible! Tony Stark is gonna look over my work? Wait, where's Maya? She said she can fly me home. <laughs> oh no! Wow, you're strong. Much stronger than I expected. You haven't seen anything yet! Ah! Well, it seems like you're still not strong enough to stop me. <laughs> oh no, Maya! Maya, are you okay? Ugh, no, I'm not. Don't worry, you'll stop her next time. I don't know, Diego. I've never lost a fight before, and she's beaten me twice. Stop worrying about that right now, okay? Let's just get you out of here. Are you sure you don't want to go to the hospital? I'm fine. I have super healing, remember? Oh, must be nice. Whatever you do, don't tell mom. Don't tell mom what? Oh no. That you snuck out while you were grounded? It was my idea, mom. Not now, young lady. I will get to you in a minute. You have disobeyed my rules for the last time, Diego. And you're grounded for a whole month. I hope it was worth it. You know what, Mom? It was. And you. I heard on the news Frostbite won in a fight against you. Again? She came out of nowhere. I had tried my best. But if you stayed home and trained, instead of sneaking your brother around, you would have won. Diego is ruining your superhero reputation now. I've had enough of this. So have I. Because of you, Diego, Frostbite is out causing chaos again, and your sister can't stop her. This is all your fault. Mom! I can't even look at you right now. Just go! You know what? Gladly. Let's hear it for the- Whoa, dude, I didn't know you were here. Yeah, man. Look, my mom just kicked me out. I hope it's okay that I came here. Yeah, of course. I was actually just coming by to run some tests on Athena. You know, that's a good idea. Tony Stark is already sending me some notes, and we should really make some changes. I still can't get over it. You're working with Tony Stark! Yeah, I know, I know, but look, I need to focus, okay? And we need to finish Athena, and fast. Okay, but... What's the rush? I mean, an AI is not really going to be going anywhere. Look, Maya is having a hard time with this villain Frostbite, and I think Athena can help. I made her specifically to help my sister fight supervillains. Well, how? If I can make this work, then Athena can find a random low point in temperature anywhere nearby, and that's where Frostbite is going to be. Dude, you're a genius. This is totally going to help your sister out. I hope so. Now, come on. Let's work on this thing. Hurry up, Diego. We need to get Maya's favorite snacks. She's almost out. Of course we do. What would happen if Maya didn't get her snacks? Enough with the attitude, young man. Now go get some fruit for Maya. Okay, Mom, are we done? No, of course not. We need to pick up your sister's soup from the cleaners. Can't you do this on your own? Why? Do you have something more important to do than help your sister? What I'm doing is important, and it could help her a lot, you know? I just need to work on it and finish it. Well, the answer is no. Plus, you need to help get ready for Maya's big award ceremony tonight. Didn't she just get an award? The mayor is giving her the key to the city this time. This is a very big deal, and you have to be there. Mom, don't you see how unfair all of this is? You only care about her and what she's doing. I need to dedicate more of my time to my work, okay? And not just her events. We are not having an argument in the grocery store. If you love your sister, you will be there tonight. So just drop it. Got it? Whatever. I got it. Now, sweetheart, don't be nervous, okay? I won't be. Good. 
Now I'm gonna talk to the mayor. I think he needs to introduce you as the stellar Celestia. It's got more pizzazz. There sure are a lot of people here. You're gonna do great, sis. Don't even worry about it. Look, you've done this before. You've nothing to worry about. That's not what I'm worried about. Wait, then why are you worried? Attention. You stupid citizens, Celestia is a loser, and I should get the key to the city, not hers. Now bow down to me and give me all your money. Wow, this is a low, even for you, Frostbite. Oh, girl, you have no idea. This is over for you now. There's a new superhero in town, and it's me. Uh, get back here. Oh my gosh, is Maya okay? I don't know, I think so. Oh no. This is terrible! So worried about your sister! I am too. Come on, come on! I need this to work! Hello, Diego. Do you need help with anything? Yes, Athena. Find the supervillain Frostbite. Where is she? I'm sorry. I'm unable to comply with your request. Come on, why not? Beginning shutdown sequence. No, 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 no! This has to work! Why isn't it working? Because you don't have me, that's why. Yo, is this your lab? Man, we need to get you better upgrades, kid. This is sad. Wait, Mr. Stark, how did you find me? Um, I'm Iron Man, obviously. Having some problems with Athena, huh? Yeah, she keeps shutting down, and I need this to work for my sister. Well, here are the rest of my notes. Just make these changes and she should work just fine. She might even work better than my AI, Karen. You named your AI Karen? What? It's a good name. You know what? Whatever. Just take this. Uh, yeah, right. Thank you so much for everything. Of course, kid. Your dad would be so proud of you. I just know it. Good luck with everything. Yeah, he will be once I get this thing to work. Maya! Maya! Where are you? What is wrong with you? Why are you screaming? I'm looking for Maya. Where is she? It's your father's birthday today. Where do you think she is? Oh, I totally forgot. That's today? Unbelievable. I miss you so much, Dad. Being a superhero, it's so tough. Everybody depends on me, and I don't think I have what it takes. I just wish I could make you proud. I'm really sorry, and happy birthday. You have what it takes, Maya, and I know that Dad is so proud of you. I don't think so, Diego. I still can't find Frostbite, but she's out there planning something big. I think I have something that can help. Diego, I love you, but I need to focus on my own stuff, not your science project. Trust me, you're gonna want to see this. Come with me. Okay, what is all this about? Hold on, mom needs to see this too. Mom, get in here, quick! What is it now, Diego? I'm very busy booking events for your sister. Well, I finally finished my project for Maya, and it works, it really works. Hello, my name is Athena 3.0. How can I help you today, Maya? She's an AI to help you fight crime. Are you serious? Absolutely, look. Uh, Athena, is there any crime happening nearby? There is a man jaywalking on Center Street, and there is a bank robbery taking place downtown. See? She can help you fight crime and find frostbite. I can put her in your suit and on your phone. You just couldn't let your sister have one thing, could you? What? What do you mean? This isn't going to help her. It's going to make her look incapable of fighting crime on her own. You just wanted to make her look stupid. That's not what this is about at all. I don't have time for this. You both are being super annoying. I need to go check on that bank robbery. Look what you did. What I did? And on your father's birthday, he would be disgusted with you. I know I am. Dad would be proud of me because you know what? He loved me unlike you. You know what? I want you out of this house for good. Pack your things and go stay with your friend. I will, because I'm better off alone than with a mom that doesn't even love her own son. Just remember that I did this to help Maya. You did this for your own ego. Now get out. Thanks for letting me move in with you guys, Jesse. Of course, dude. I wasn't going to let you live on the streets. I still can't believe your mom flipped out on you like that. I can. Well, never mind about all that stuff. You can stay here as long as you want. Plus, this is actually going to be good for us. We can hang out and we can work on Athena. You know, if anything comes up. Yeah, maybe. It didn't seem like Maya cared much anyway. Maybe we should just stop. No way, dude. We can't stop now. We got an endorsement from Tony Stark. Are you kidding? Look, I'll go get us some food, and then we can get right back to it. 
Diego, your AI thing? It really worked. There really was a robbery downtown. That's great. I told you she would help. Can you ask her if she can track Frostbite? Sure. Hello, Diego. Athena, can you track Frostbite for me? Of course I can. Scanning. I located a severe dip in temperature at the docks on the west side of the city. Did you hear that, Maya? She's at the docks. Loud and clear. I'll go check it out. Hold on. I'm going to transfer her to your suit now. Thanks, Diego. And I'm sorry I... Don't mention it. Now, go and stop Frostbite. Athena, is this the place? Yes, Miss Maya, this is the place. Although, the severe drop in temperature seems to be disappearing. Where is it exactly? In the warehouse straight ahead. Second floor to the left. Wow, thanks! Man, this Athena thing is really cool. Hmm, you're not the psychopath I'm looking for. What the heck? How did you even find me here? My new friend helped me. Well, you're too late. Frostbite's gone. And I'm out of here! Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Well done, miss. Thanks, girl. She's not gonna let me back in, Maya, and I don't even want to be back. She will once we convince her. You can try, but I'm just sick of her and how she treats me, okay? Well, no matter what, we're still family. We should get along. Yeah, I guess I agree. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Maya, honey, the chief of police just called. You stopped a supervillain last night. I'm thrilled that you're back on top of your game. Now, what is Diego doing here? I want you to apologize to Diego, Mom, and let him move back in. Apologize? Why? Because my AI helped Maya stop that villain last night. You just didn't think that I could do it. You're right. I didn't think you would stoop so low as to steal the spotlight from your sister. See, Maya? I told you. She doesn't care, and I just want her out of my life. Hey, Maya. What's up? Can you meet me at Town Hall? Town Hall? Why? Yes, and it's serious. Please. Uh, okay, I'll be right there. Maya, what is this all about? If mom won't celebrate your accomplishments, I know a lot of people that will. Everyone, this is my little brother Diego. He is an absolute genius, just like our father. And he made this AI program that will help me fight crime and keep this city safe. Let's give it up for Diego. Well done, Diego. Yes, yes, well done. Thank you, Mayor. And Thank you, Maya. Well, it looks like our city now has two heroes to keep it safe. Whoa, no way! Man, this is sick! Ah! What the? Yeah, this is the place, all right! Who are you? I'm Frostbite, and this is my friend, Turbine. Oh my gosh, wait, I know who you are! Of course you do. Now you're going to show me where that stupid AI mainframe is. I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! Oh! Turbine, take this loser back to our base. I'll find the mainframe. This is it? <laughs> How pathetic. Looks like your new fancy tech needs an update, Diego. <laughs> Something's not right. Jesse didn't respond to any of my texts. What could he be doing? Oh my gosh! Jesse! Jesse, are you here? Diego, are you okay? I'm fine, but look, Jesse, he's gone. Someone attacked his house. We have another problem. Athena won't respond. It's like she's broken or something. Athena, she's gone too. This has to be Frostbite's work. Can you fix her? We can use it to find Jesse. I need a computer to fix it. A big one. There's only one computer that I can think of that can handle running an AI like Athena. Where is it, Diego? We need to move fast. Maya, honey, you're finally home. Sorry, Mom. It's just me. What are you doing here? I'm just getting one of Dad's old computers, and I'll be out of here in a minute, all right? Just don't even worry about it. Hey, that's your father's favorite laptop. Put that back. Not now, Mom. You are not going anywhere. Look, I don't have time for this, okay? Where is your sister, huh? She's out looking for Frostbite. She kidnapped Jesse. Oh, of course. 
first you try to steal your sister's spotlight because you're jealous, and now you've got your friend kidnapped? When are you gonna stop all of this? My friend's life is in danger right now, and you want to start more drama? I'm doing something good here, Mom. But you can't see that because ever since Dad died, all you've cared about is Maya. You act like I'm not even your own son. You don't care about me at all. That's not true. Yeah, it is. Everyone sees it, even Maya. So you can either wake up and start acting like an actual mother, or just get out of my way and stay out of my life. <gasps> Fine. Unbelievable. These supervillains really aren't the brightest. Jesse might just be here. Dude, please let me out of here. And what, dude? Disobey Frostbite? Nope, not happening. My best friend's sister is going to come for me. Just wait. You know who she is. Celestia. And she's going to save me. I'm shivering. Look at me. I'm shivering. Yeah, you should be. Ah! Whoa. Man, that is so cool. Thanks for saving Jesse, Maya. Of course. Did you get Dad's computer? I did, but I need somewhere safe to work on Athena. Yeah, like we need a secret base or something. Yeah, that would be perfect. But where can we find a secret base? Well... What the heck? Is this for real? How did you even make this? I didn't. This is Dad's old base. Whoa, this is sick! This was Dad's? Why didn't I know about it? Yeah, Dad told me before he died to keep it a secret from everyone but you. I guess Jesse knowing can't be helped. Everyone but me? But why? I mean, look at me. There's nothing special about me. That's not true. Dad said to tell you when you were ready. He knew I was going to need your help one day. He believed in you, Diego, and so do I. Wow, thank you. Now, let's fix Athena and stop Frostbite. Okay, I just need to reinitialize the Matrix and boom. Oh, glad to have you back, Athena. It feels good to be back, but I have some bad news. What is it? I've located Frostbite's current position, and you're not going to like it. Where is she? She's at your house with your mom. Put me down, you overgrown icicle! Shut up, old lady. I'm just getting started. Frostbite, stop! Put my mom down, you creep! Sure. Mom! I'll end you. And your entire family, now that you're all together? No, you won't. You think you're going to stop me? You're not even a hero. You're nothing. Why, I am a hero! Oh my gosh, you did it! Athena, call the police, now. Of course, sir. And thank you for finding Frostbite. Diego's project did this? That is my programming, to help. You're both my heroes. I'm so proud of both of you. Where's my wife? Echo Man, please come this way. Ah! Oh, it's a baby boy. Charlotte, are you okay? I feel so weak. You're going to be okay, sweetheart. Don't worry. If I don't make it, I, I want you to name our son Alex. I really want you to take care of him. I promise. I'll take care of him. Just like I'll always take care of him. We're, we're losing her. Hurry, do something. I'm sorry, Echo Man. There's nothing I can do. Charlie, I'm so sorry, my love. Guess it's just you and me now, Alex. Hey, look who it is. It's the loser. Still pretending to be a superhero? Look, I don't need to pretend, Eric. I am one. No, you're not. Superheroes have superpowers, and you've got nothing. Look, I might not have powers yet, but I'm way stronger than you both. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah? Well, if you're so strong, why don't you show us your powers, Mr. Superhero? Uh, fine. Watch this. Ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, nice try, sad boy. Yeah, you're such an idiot. Check it out, Eric. Loser thinks he's Echo Man or something. <laughs> and he's like so nice. Hey, Echo Man's my dad. Y'all right. The Echo Man? Y'all keep dreaming, idiot. So what if I don't have powers right now? Johnny and Eric are just jerks. I'm the son of a superhero. And I'll be getting my powers any day now. I, I can feel it. Oh, man. It has been a long day. Uh, hey, Dad. How was your day, son? It was okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. What's on your mind? How old were you when you got your powers? 
Well, I was born with my powers on my home world called Ekonora. So, is everyone from your world born with powers? Yeah, that's right. But your mother was just an ordinary human. So that's why you didn't inherit powers at birth, I'm guessing. So, wait, I'm never gonna have powers then, am I? No, Alex, that's not true. I believe your powers will gradually develop. It just takes time. I hope so. I mean, I want to fly around the world with you, Dad. Fight bad guys, shoot laser beams from my eyes. I mean, all of it. <laughs> Flying around the world does sound amazing. But remember, even without powers, you can still be a hero. Alex, I love you, but duty calls. Someone's trying to rob the bank. Stay safe, Alex. Uh, I'll be home soon. <sighs> Don't worry, Dad. Someday, I'll be flying off too, right by your side. Everyone looks up to Dad because he's the strongest hero in the world, but I feel so weak compared to him. I'm his son. I should be just as strong as he is. Shut up, you loser. You're gonna give me all your money. No, please, no, I don't even have that much. I said, shut up. Dad told me that I could be a hero even without my powers. So that's what I'm gonna do. Leave him alone and give him his stuff back. <laughs> oh yeah? What are you gonna do about it, punk? Give me all your stuff too. No way. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, we got a tough guy, huh? I think you need to be taught a lesson. Ah! Uh, uh. Alex, Alex, wake, wake up. up. Son, son, son wake, wake up. up. Can you hear, you hear me? me? Uh, what, what happened? Dad, what's going on? Saved you from that criminal. What were you thinking, Alex? I was trying to be a hero, just like you said. That's not what I meant. I meant being a hero is more about just having powers, but courage, compassion, making the right choices. Uh, I'm sorry, Dad. I tried my best. Come on. Let's get you home. Dude, I can't believe you tried to stop that robber. I mean, that was brave of you, but stupid. Yeah, thanks, Taylor. I just wish I could have actually done something. And of course, my dad had to swoop in and save the day, like he always does for everyone. I can understand how you feel, though, dude. Having Echo Maiden as your dad must be challenging. How could I ever measure up to even a fraction of what he is? I mean, it's a tough spot, man. I don't envy you at all. Maybe you should try to talk to your dad. I mean, he'll understand better than I do, and maybe he can help you find your own path. You're right, Taylor. I need to talk to him. He's so excited for the day I get powers, but what if that day never comes? He's still your dad, Alex. He won't be as disappointed as you will be. Yeah, I guess that's true. I'll talk to him tonight. Now, come on. Thanks to the incredible efforts of Echo Man, the city's mayor has been found and safely returned. What would the city do without its beloved hero? <sighs> Enough of this! I'm sorry I'm late, Alex. The mayor needed my help once again. Yeah, I just saw the news. You know, sometimes I feel like I need a day off just to do nothing. But things will get too chaotic without me. <laughs> Dad, what if I never get powers? What? What do you mean, Alex? What if my powers never develop? And I'm just... Normal. Alex, your powers will come in due time. You just need to be patient. But what if they don't? It's just theoretically. Then you'll be a normal human, just like your mother, and there'll be nothing wrong with that. Says the superhero. Listen to me, Alex. No matter what, I love you. Powers or no powers, you're still my son. Sorry if I've put too much pressure on you with all this superhero talk. It's okay, Dad. I really want powers so bad that I feel like I'll disappoint you if I don't have them. You won't disappoint me, Alex. I'm already so proud of the man you've become. Plus, your mother didn't have powers. She was the best person on this planet. You're my son, and I will always love you. Don't worry about this anymore, okay? Tomorrow, I'll help you. Come on, Alex, push yourself. You can do it. Um, I'm trying, Dad. Just lift the car. I mean, it should be easy. Uh, nothing is happening. Ah! ah, so stupid. Maybe super strength isn't your power. Let's try something else. Uh, how about super speed? Super speed? Yeah, I knew a guy that could run so fast he ran around the entire planet and turned back time. At least that's what he told everyone. <laughs> All right, come on, let's give it a shot. Run as fast as you can. All right, did you keep up with me, Alex? I didn't even start yet. Oh, oh, uh, right, whenever you're ready. All right, here goes nothing. Wow, I'm doing it. I'm really doing it! I... Hmm, maybe super speed isn't your thing either. There's gotta be something. 
Dad, I think it's time we both admit it. I don't have powers. Nonsense. We just haven't unlocked your true power yet. There's something out there for you. I, I know it. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Once again, duty calls. Wait, I thought you said you were taking the day off. Alex, there are no days off when you're a superhero. Now I have to go. I'll see you at home. Yeah. Bye, Dad. I'm really starting to think that my dad wants me to have powers more than I do. I don't know if I can handle that pressure. Well, like, maybe he feels like he let you down or something. But it's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. All I'm saying is, it could be weighing on him more than you realize. Yo, what's up, losers? <sighs> Shut up, Johnny. I don't need this right now. Yeah, what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna go cry to your dad, Echo Man? You guys suck. You do know that his dad really is Echo Man, right? Hey, watch your mouth. We weren't talking to you, loser. <laughs> Leave my friend alone! <laughs> Daddy, you're seeing this, right? Maybe he really is Echo Man's son! Alex, land this instant, young man! Sorry, Principal Jefferson, I... For all this commotion, you'll get detention after school today! But I was defending my friend! I don't want to hear it! Detention now! Dude, I can't thank you enough for standing up for me. I mean, you really showed those jerks. Of course, dude. Did you see the look on Eric's face? I mean, like, priceless. Yeah, yeah, I did. And, dude, can you believe it? I actually got my powers. So what else can you do, man? Now that you've got superpowers, there's no limit. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay, uh, lift that car over there. Maybe you've got super strength now. All right, all right, all right. Just, uh, watch this. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Dude, okay, super strength. Check. I can't wait to get home and show my dad. He's going to be so proud of me. Uh, I'll see you later, man. Dad! Uh, dad! Guess what? I heard you got detention. What happened? Yeah, uh, I did, but it's because something amazing happened to me. I got my powers. Watch this. Ah! Alex, that's incredible. You can fly. I knew I had it in me, Dad. I, I knew I did. I can fly just well, like you. Well, not just like me. I mean, your form still needs some work, but I couldn't be prouder of you. You're becoming an amazing hero, just like your old man. Uh, come on. Let's go fly around the world together. I always wanted to be just like you, and now look at me. I finally can be. Well, I'm Echo Man. You're Alex. You're your own person. You can be the kind of hero you're meant to be. Thanks, Dad. Now, come on. What do you say? Around the world and back before dinner? I'll race you. Oh, yeah, right. You're on. Let's see who can fly faster. How did I do? Five minutes and three seconds. Yes. Beat my own time again. I'm getting faster. Your progress is remarkable. When am I going to get my own suit and start fighting crime with you? You won't be. What? What do you mean? I've already made my decision. It's important to keep your powers a secret. But, Dad, I, I, I want to help people just like you. I, I want to make a difference. I know, Alex, and you will make a difference. But there's something bigger in store for you. I'm preparing you for a greater purpose. Okay, Dad. Uh, I'll be patient. Good. Keep on training and remember, you're destined for greatness, kid. You're the son of Echo Man. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh no, I'm late for school. I gotta go. Oh, come on, man. Don't show me something cool with your powers. Uh, cut it out, Taylor. It's gotten into you, dude. Since when have you been shy about your powers? Uh, since my dad told me to be careful and not reveal them to anyone. The heck? Why would he tell you that? He didn't explain it fully. He just said it was important to keep them hidden and that he has a plan for me. Ugh. Sounds like a typical overprotective parent, if you ask me. But what do you want to be? What do you want to do with your power? You know what I want. I want to be a hero. I want to use my powers to save people. I want to make my dad proud and follow his footsteps. Then you should do what you think is best for you. All your heart. Be the hero you want. I know. You're right. I do want to help people, and maybe I can do it without my dad knowing. I'll just have to be a hero in secret. Hand over the money now! Alright, 
This is it. This is what I've been waiting for. Man, oh man. When's he gonna let me do this stuff on my own, huh? I mean, I think I can rob a gas station. How hard can it be? Hello there. <laughs> oh, goodness. That's enough. What the? <laughs> Call the cops, okay? They'll handle the rest. Here, take the money back. Whoa, uh, uh, thanks, man. What happened here? Who did this? It was, uh, some kid. I don't know who he was. Looks like someone's coming for your job, Echo Man. Kid, you say? I know what you've been doing, Alex. What? Uh, what are you talking about, Dad? Don't play dumb. I know you've been sneaking out and fighting crime for weeks now. I, uh, no... <sighs> You know, what's wrong with that, huh? I want to be a hero. I told you. There are bigger things than stopping these petty crimes. I want to protect you until the time is right. Why won't you tell me what those bigger things are then? Why keep me in the dark? Because you're not ready. There are challenges that lie ahead. And I need to prepare you properly. Well, I won't let you stop me from doing what I want to do. <sighs> Alex, I know you want to make me proud, and you already have. There's so much more at stake. Things I, I can't explain yet, but trust me, you will need to be ready someday soon. I need to make a call back to Echo Noro, and this is because of you, Alex. They should know about this. I never seemed good enough for him, and now he's calling his homeworld because of me? <sighs> Whatever. It won't stop me from becoming the hero I was meant to be. I just don't understand what his deal is. No matter what I do, it never seems to be enough to make him happy, man. Why wouldn't he want your help finding crime? I mean, you have powers just like he does. He just keeps saying there's something bigger coming, something more important than being a hero. It's like he's holding me back, and he won't even say why. Well, whatever he's got planned, it better be good. I mean, I can't be a superhero sidekick if my superhero friend can't do any superhero thing. <laughs> What fun! Oh, where's the jewelry store? Oh no. You have to stop this guy, Alex. This is your chance to prove yourself. Did you say stop him? Look at him, he's an actual supervillain. Yeah, and if someone doesn't stop him right now, people are gonna get hurt. Do it, Alex. Not just for your dad, but do it for yourself and for everyone here. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. It's my choice to be a hero, not my dad's. You got this, Alex. You've got this. No one is leaving this incredibly outdated shopping mall until I have what I came for! Are you looking for this? Ah! Whoa! -ho! Yo, let's go, dude! That was incredible! Yeah, it was. Alright, dude, look, we need to leave. People are gonna start asking questions. Come on! Oh my, oh my! In a surprising turn of events, a new hero emerged at the mall today! This unknown hero known as the Second Echo Man was captured on surveillance cameras, demonstrating remarkable powers and in saving innocent lives. Oh no, they're calling me the Second Echo Man? Alex! Oh, um, hey, Dad. Don't you hey, Dad, me. You realize what you've done? Yeah, I saved people today from that crazy supervillain. No, you broke the one rule I gave you. I'm not sorry, Dad. I enjoy being a hero, and I I'm not scared of people finding out about me. Why are you so afraid? You weren't like this before. Because I told you, Alex, there are more important things at stake here. Then what is it? What's so important? Ugh. All right, fine. I suppose it's time. First, we need to get you a suit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, like a real superhero suit with, with a, a mask and a cape and everything? Yes, we have to protect your identity. There are dangers out there. And if people find out who you really are... I understand. Uh, wow, my own super suit. If this is what you truly want, I'll support you. And honestly, you did a good job today. Now, come on. We have work to do. Let's go get you that suit. Ah, Echo Man! It has been a long time, my friend! Han, it's been too long. And who is this? Oh, this is my son, Alex. I'm sure you saw him on the news already. Ah, uh, yes! Second Echo Man! Terrible name! Hey, hey uh, I didn't come up with it. Now, why are you here? You need a new cape again? No, no, not this time. We're here for Alex. He's ready for his own suit. Hmm, I suppose I can whip up something quick. So, you're the suit maker? Suit maker? Young man, I am the only one who brings heroes to life. Now, let's get started, shall we? I'm a very busy man. 
Wow! Yeah, looking pretty sharp, kid. Hans did a good job as usual. I feel like a real hero now. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Now, I'm gonna make a call to our homeworld. I may know my son is ready to embrace his destiny. This is Echo Man, calling from Earth. Status update. We're ready for the next phase. My son is fully prepared. Does he know? No, he's completely oblivious to our intentions. Excellent. It's time to execute our plan. Begin immediately. Dad? Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, an administrator on our homeworld, of course. I was just informing our fellow Echonorians that my son is ready. That's all. Ready for what? Tonight, meet me at the cliffs outside the city. I'll reveal everything you need to know. Okay, I can't wait. But first, I need to meet up with Taylor. Well, don't be late. This is crucial. Be there on time. I won't let you down, Dad. I promise. That looks so cool. Dude, I mean, you're a real hero now. I remember when you used to be so worried about not having powers at all. Dude, look at you now. Yeah, feels like a lifetime ago, but everything has changed and I couldn't be happier. So what's the first thing you're planning to do with your dad? An epic crime fighting adventure? Stopping a new supervillain from taking over the world? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm meeting up with him tonight to discuss something important, but I don't know the details yet. Well, you have to let me know whatever it is, dude. I'm dying to find out. Plus, as your unofficial official sidekick, I need to know these things. I will, for sure. As soon as I find out, you'll be the first to know. Just do me a favor. Keep my identity a secret. If you don't, you'll have to answer to my dad. Oh, trust me. I don't want your dad mad at me. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, no. Looks like he might be mad at me again. I I'm late. Uh, sorry, dude. I I've got to fly. You're late, Alex. I told you not to be late! I'm sorry, Dad. I got caught up with Taylor and- No matter. We must focus on our purpose. We are not like these people on Earth, Alex. You and I are different. Well, yeah. I mean, you're from another planet, and I'm half human. I've always known that. Forget about your human side. You're a real Echonorian now. Forget about my human side? What are you talking about? Did I ever tell you what our purpose is, Alex? To do what is right and save the innocents, protect the planet? You told me that when I was just a kid. Is that what you're talking about? In a way, our purpose, Alex, is to conquer. Years of training have made us perfect for this mission. Conquer? Dad, I don't understand. I spent years gaining the trust of these pathetic people on Earth. And now, with your help, we can swiftly conquer it. Complete the mission I was sent here to do. Wait, you, you want to take over the world? Of course. It's what we do. The Echonorian Empire spans thousands of planets over this galaxy. I was sent to conquer this one. And now that you're ready, I can complete my purpose. <laughs> no. No! I won't help you do this! I have friends here! People I care about! The dead! This is our home! This isn't a question. It's our mission. Our duty. What don't you understand? I don't understand why you want me to destroy everything! Do you even hear yourself right now? You're, you're Echo Man! No! I won't become a part of this! This is what you were born to do, son. Now, join me. No! Never! Uh, Echo Man, uh, wh what are you doing here? Where is Alex? Alex, uh, oh, he's not here. I uh, haven't seen him today. Taylor, I know he's here. I can sense it. I have to speak with him. All right, fine. Here, Alex, uh, I'm sorry. I, I tried. It's okay. Don't worry. Alex, come home. No way. I'm not going anywhere with you. Have you even thought about what I said? Our purpose, our mission? <laughs> Mission! Yeah, I've thought about it, Dad, and I refuse to join it. You know, Mom wouldn't want this for us. I believe we were meant for something greater, so something better, but this? You don't seem to understand who we are, Alex. Your mother, she was not like us. I know she wasn't like us, and that's why I choose a different path. I believe we can be heroes, not conquerors. You truly don't believe in this, do you? You believe in these weak humans in this sad world? Yeah, I do. Alex, please come with me to Town Hall tomorrow. I want to reveal us to the world. Show them who we truly are. I'll think about it, Dad. But know that I won't compromise my beliefs. Fine. I'll see you tomorrow. You'll see, Alex. This is our destiny. It's your destiny? To take over the planet? Oh. Yeah, I know. 
and my dad wants to reveal it to everyone tomorrow. It just doesn't make sense to me. I thought your dad was a hero. Yeah, so did I. You think he's really going to go through with it? I mean, he knows you're against it. Look, I, I don't know. He seemed so serious about it last night, and honestly, it was kind of scary. It's like he's convinced we're, we're different from the people here on Earth, that we're meant to conquer it. You're not... You didn't actually consider joining him, did you? I mean, after everything we talked about, you wanted to be a hero your whole life. There's no way I'm joining it, Taylor. I spent most of my life as a human, among everyone. They are my people, and this is my home. I can't fight for a cause I don't believe in, and for people I've never even met. Well, that's good to hear. I mean, forget those Echonorians, dude. Stay true to yourself and what you believe in. Thanks, Taylor. I really needed to hear that. Maybe tomorrow, revealing ourselves together will help my dad realize just how much these people mean to us. Well, I'm here for you, dude, and I've got your back. I mean, as long as you don't decide to lose your mind and take over the world. I won't, I promise. I just hope my dad hasn't lost his completely. Ladies and gentlemen, Echo Man is here to introduce us all to his son, the new superhero called, um... Uh, what was your name again? Uh, Alex. Alex? Huh, right hero name. Just Alex, huh? Son of Echo Man is just Alex? God, I didn't have time to think about this. Uh, uh, it's actually reverb. All right, that's more like it. Ladies and gentlemen, our new hero, Reverb. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Man. Yes, today I have the honor of introducing you all to a new hero that's emerged to protect our city, my son. Incredible. I'm so lucky to have these heroes to protect us in our beloved city. Thank you all for your support. We want you to know that we're all here for you. And soon, you will all see our true power and our true purpose, who we really are, your protectors. Sad. What are you doing? This isn't what we discussed. <laughs> oh, sorry about this, everyone. Uh, he's new to this. <laughs> the humor on this guy. But with Echo Man and Reverb at our side, this city has never been in better hands. So we just lied to everyone? Was that your plan all along? It's not about lying, Alex. It's about strategic planning. Catching the inhabitants of Conquered Worlds off guard is essential to a smooth colonization process. But why? Why do we have to conquer worlds? It's, it's not right. You just don't understand yet, that's all. Our purpose is greater than just one world. It's about fulfilling our destiny and serving the interests of the Echonorian Empire. But what about the people here? The lives we've saved, the hope we've given them. Don't they matter? Our allegiance lies with Echo Noro. We can't let personal attachments cloud our judgment. I thought there was still good in you. I thought, out of all people, you could see the impact that we can truly make. Enough of this! We are loyal members of the Empire, and that is our duty. Now, my pathetic supervillains are about to make their move, and you have a choice to make. Stand with me, or stand against me. I will never let you win, Dad. There is still good in you, buried deep down. I know there is, and I will fight for that good. You don't stand with me, then you stand against me. If that is my destiny, then so be it. Hello, Mr. Mayor. Ah, get out of my office, you hooligan. Shut up. Somebody wants to speak with you. Oh, Echo Man, thank goodness. Stop this villain. Good work. You've served your purpose. W what is happening? Are you working with this villain? I run this city now, Mayor. And soon, this world will belong to the Echonorian Empire. No, no, it can't be. Someone help, please. Breaking news, uh, Echo Man uh, has gone rogue now and is threatening to conquer the world. Literally no one saw this coming and uh, we are all feared for our lives. Reports have it that he is holding the mayor hostage. Oh my goodness, a superhero has turned on us people. Okay, stay calm. There was no one to protect us. What are we gonna do? I can't believe it. My dad, he really went through with it. So uh, what are you gonna do, Alex? I need to step up. I need to become the hero. I always wanted to be. But that's your father. I know, that's what I'm afraid of. But I can't let this happen, Taylor. It's time to save my people. Looks like my dad has all the supervillains doing his dirty work. I have to do this. What do you think you're doing, little hero? I'm taking you down. 
<laughs> Don't make me laugh. Echo Man must be so disappointed in you. Oh. Hey, hey, stay away from us. Uh. I'm here to help, okay? I promise. You can trust me. Trust you? You're Echo Man's son. This must be all part of his plan, his evil plan. No, 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 it's not. I just saved you and the others from Echo Man's minions. Look, I'm not like my father, okay? I want to save the city. I I guess that means that does make sense. We'll just knock them all out. So, uh, well, if you're willing to help us fight back against these villains. I am. Let's work together. We need to rescue the mayor as soon as we can. And I have to stop my father. Dad. I had a feeling you'd come here. Just please. You have to stop this. It's, it's not too late to make things right. Why can't you see the greatness in our purpose, Alex? This is an honor bestowed upon us. An honor? Our purpose shouldn't involve destroying people's lives. I know what my purpose is. To protect my home and use my powers for good. Good is a point of view, Alex. Protecting these insignificant beings? I did that to gain their trust. To buy time for you to grow into your powers and to help well, me. Well, I've grown and I understand where we are now. I looked up to you, you know. You were my number one hero. And now... I don't even know who I'm looking at. I won't let you harm innocent people. And I won't hold back. And I won't hold back either. I gotta get out of here. I try to talk to him, and he won't listen. Well, then we got no choice. Echo Man's officially a supervillain now. Can't believe my own dad would stoop this low. We have to stop him before he causes irreparable damage. How did we not see this coming? We trusted him, Alex. Like stupid idiots. We believed his lies. Now we have to face the consequences. Look, I'll create a distraction for you and the police to rescue the citizens. It's the only way to ensure their safety. All right. We need to evacuate everyone before you confront Echo Man. Destruction that you two could do in your battle, it would be devastating. Yeah, I understand. Are you okay, Alex? No. How could I be? I mean, look, I'm trying to stay strong, and I know I have to stay focused. Not only is he the most powerful man on this planet, he's my dad, man. Look, I think I can beat him. I just, I have to hold it together. Please, be careful. I don't want anyone else getting hurt. You're my best friend. Anything happened to you? I understand, Taylor. But the world won't be safe until Echo Man is stopped. And I think I'm the only one that can do it. Release them now! <laughs> You're just a weakling, Reverb. If you had joined us, you'd be more powerful. I'm stronger than you think. <laughs> oh my! The police are on their way, okay? Just stay calm. They'll guide you to safety. You've done incredible work, Alex. You've located where the man's being held. I'll go there personally. We need someone to lead us through this chaos. Good luck, Alex. We're counting on you. So... This is where he's holding the mayor? Okay, Alex, just breathe. You've got this. Let him go! Yeah! Thank you, Reverb! You're a true hero! Of course. Now let's get out of here! So, did you find your dad? No. He had his minions take care of the grunt work. But I know where he'll be. It's time to stop this. Sorry, Alex. It's okay. I'm the one that should be sorry. He's my father, and I won't let him harm anyone else. I'll make things right, I promise. I know you can hear me with your sonic hearing. Come out. Have you changed your mind, son? Changed my mind? You, you really don't know your own son, do you? Just stop this. We don't have to fight. There's still time to change this. I can't change who I am, Alex. Our purpose is clear and I must fulfill it. You have become more powerful than I ever imagined. You did well defeating my men. Enough. I don't need your praise. The idea you have is wrong. I'm sorry for your lack of vision. And I'm sorry for your lack of humanity. Just listen to me, okay? We can find another way. One that doesn't involve the destruction and conquering. I have accepted my destiny, Alex. I only wish for you to join me. To share in the glory of our heritage. Our bloodline. I can never join you in taking over this world. I fight for the people. For their safety. For their well-being. That's what mom would have wanted. If you won't stand by my side, then I'll have to destroy you. I'm sorry, Dad, but I won't let you harm anyone else. Soon the world will all be mine! We have to stop Dr. Zero. I can help. I'm a superhero, too. You're not a superhero, Scott. Not yet. Now keep your little brother safe. Ah! 
fire sign and wildfire. You must be here to stop me. Dr. Zero, you're going down. Don't worry, Seth. I'll protect you no matter what. Look at Mom and Dad. They're the coolest superheroes in the world. And we're being raised by these heroes. When we get older, we'll be heroes too. Ah! Ah! Seth, I don't understand. You're almost 15. You should have gotten your superpowers by now. I know I'll get them. I just need to try a little harder. Just admit it. You don't have any superpowers. You should just stop embarrassing yourself and the family. Maybe I do have superpowers. They're just not here yet. Ugh, I don't even know why I'm wasting my time. Dad asked me to start training you, and it's absolutely useless. You're pathetic. Look, Scott, I'm just trying my best, okay? Wait, what's this? Oh, no, the city's under attack. Something about killer drones? This is not good. I just got the alert, too. It's time to go, Scott. <laughs> All right. It's time for Surge to save the day. Wait, I want to help too. What can I do? You can just get out of the way. Yeah, Seth. Stay home where it's safe. Come on, Scott. Your mother will meet us there. <laughs> it was absolutely pathetic. Dr. Zero thought he could take over the city with drones. I know. What a joke. And you, Scott, you did incredible out there. Oh, uh, it was easy. I didn't know you could actually make a whole tidal wave of electricity. Your powers are developing and you're using them wisely. Yeah, and I'll teach Dr. Zero that he can't can't mess with us. <sighs> You're being awfully quiet. How was your day? Well, you guys, I got an A on my math midterm. <laughs> What's so funny, Scott? Oh, I just think it's funny. You're comparing saving the day in the entire city to a math test? I mean, come on. It's pathetic. <laughs> you know what? I don't have to listen to this. Seth, you forgot something. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Look at him. He's so dumb. So tired of this. Is everything all right? Are you okay? No, mom, not okay. Scott always makes me feel like I'm useless. Useless? Absolutely not. You are very important to this family. What? What are you talking about? You keep everyone together and keep us humble. Sure, your brother, on the other hand, has superpowers, but that doesn't make him more important than you. Well, I don't know why you say that I'm so important. I don't have any superpowers or anything. I'm not special at all. Seth, you are special. Not all superheroes have powers, you know. And you're my hero. I'm proud of you, and I always will be. Thanks, Mom. Come on, you don't want your dinner to get cold now, do you? Yeah, dude, you should have seen it. Ironside flew in. He was like, pa, pa, pa. And then Wildfire was like, with all the fire, you know? Yeah, Albert, that seems pretty cool. Man, and I was right there. Those killer drones were everywhere. And then Surge came in. You should have seen it. Yeah, if only I've seen it. Imagine being, like, in a superhero family like that. It's not as cool as you think it is. Hey, Seth, congratulations. Mr. Flakes, why are you congratulating me? What's going on? Well, you're now the smartest kid in school. You're the top of the class. Whoa, man, that's awesome. Congratulations, Seth. I just wish your brother was as smart as you. What? Why are you saying that? I think Scott's pretty smart. No, he's as dumb as a post. He's failing almost all his classes. Well, to be honest, I'm not really that surprised. Scott doesn't think school's important. And that's why your brother's an idiot. I can't wait to see what you do for the science fair. See you boys in class. Yo, speaking of, dude, isn't it your birthday this weekend? Yeah, that's right. You have anything planned? Sorry, but my family actually does have something special planned. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Scott, do you want to say anything to your brother? Yeah, happy birthday or whatever. Well, do you feel any different? It's your 15th birthday and everyone gets their powers when they turn 15 in our family. I don't feel any different. Try reading my mind. Can you levitate that soda can over there? I got nothing. Maybe your powers are something really special. He's not special at all. He does not have powers like the rest of us. Well, we should try the test. All right, Seth, you know the drill, don't you? Yeah, I've been waiting for this day for years. Now you have to run down the dock and jump out over the water. If you've got superpowers, you'll fly. And if you don't, you'll fall flat on your face like you always do. All right, enough, Scott. Seth, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Watch me. He's going to do it. I just know it. Good luck. <sighs> Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, did you see him? I don't get it. Superpowers run in our family. Everyone has them. Yeah, well, clearly not with Seth. Really sorry, Seth. I, I guess you don't have superpowers. It's fine. He does not have to have superpowers. We can finally stop wasting our time with this pathetic loser. Scott, do not call your brother a loser. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disappoint you guys. Look, I promise I won't get in the way anymore. Seth, wait. C come back. You know what? I may not have superpowers, but I am smart. And maybe 
maybe this device I'm working on can actually help. And it's done. Dad, dad, check this out. What is it? I made you guys a new tracker. It's like a GPS. So that way we know where our family is at all times. Wow, this is actually a great idea. I think I'll put it in our super suits right away. I'm not putting that in my suit. Seth made it. It's probably gonna backfire and electrocute me. Scott, you need to stop being so mean to your brother. Scott's just upset that he's failing his classes. He's what? Uh, how'd you find that out? You're failing all of your classes. Ugh, you're so stupid. Ah! I've had enough of the fighting in this family. You boys have to change your attitudes right now. Breaking news. Dr. Zero is attacking the city again. We are all in extreme danger. Ugh, Dr. Zero, just in time. This is awesome. Scott, you're not going anywhere. You're kidding, right? This is Dr. Zero. Now you stay here. Keep your brother safe. No arguments. Wow. Thanks a lot, Seth. Because of you, now I can't do anything. Well, it's all your fault. You shouldn't be failing classes. Honestly, why are you even still here? You should just run away. Our family is so much better off without you. You are useless. You know what? Fine, I will. So, Albert, did you ask your parents? Can I stay with you guys tonight? Yeah, man, I did, but my mom said no. I'm sorry. Man, well, that's all right. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Albert. Man, what am I going to do now? I've got nowhere to go. No food to eat either. Oh, no, that truck's heading right to me. Ah! Hey, you better watch where you're going. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Seth, what are you doing out here? Are you asking for trouble? Dad, I left. Scott doesn't want me around. He says I'm ruining the family name. He said what? Ugh, that is so far from the truth. You're the one that holds this family together. You and mom raised me to be a superhero, but I'm just not one. I don't have powers or anything. I just want to help, but I can't. Seth, you are helping. I mean, your new invention completely worked. You know, you need to ignore your brother. He's overly confident and he's acting spoiled. And I will deal with him later. But first, you and I have to go home. Seth, did you make this thing? What is it? Well, it's a gauntlet. I was thinking it could actually help Scott with his powers. And you made this for your science fair project. Wow, incredible. Yeah, incredibly stupid. <laughs> like I would ever trust anything he makes. Scott, enough of that. Seth, I think you're going to win. Oh, hold on a second. Oh no, it's a runaway train filled with people. It must be Dr. Zero again. We have to go. This is an emergency. Sorry, we're going to miss the science fair, Seth. Oh, it's okay, you guys. Go save the day. Can I come too? Pass your classes first. First. Great, I miss out yet again, all because of you. Now I've got to waste my time here at this stupid science fair. You can go if you want. Yeah, maybe I should. But before I do go, I just want to tell you, Seth, all these things you're doing, the tracker, the gauntlet, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying so hard to be a hero. And guess what? All of it means nothing. Seth, you did it. You won first place at the science fair. Wait, I did? You know, Scott, you should be more like your little brother. At least someone in your family's smart. Ugh, I can't believe this trash. Listen, Seth, you can win as many of these stupid awards as you want, but you will never be a hero. Have fun living with that. Seth, what's the matter, man? You've barely touched your burger. I don't know, Albert. I just don't really feel like celebrating right now. How can you not feel like celebrating? You should be so proud of yourself. I'm proud of you. You won the science fair and basically got a free ride to college. Well, yeah, I'm excited about that. But to be honest, I just wish I didn't feel like such an outcast for my own family. Yeah, sure. Your older brother is a total jerk. But your mom and dad are really cool. Well, they're a little bit more than cool. What do you mean by that? Albert, the truth is my mom and dad are Wildfire and Ironside. Yeah, right. Funny joke. Wait, hold on. You're serious? Yes, I'm serious. But you have to promise to never tell anyone. Yeah, man. Of course, you're my best friend. I won't say a thing, but that's so cool. Your mom and dad are the coolest superheroes in the world. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Why aren't you happy? Well, because I don't fit in. I don't have superpowers. I'm just normal. I don't even feel like I'm a part of my own family. Dude, you're like the smartest man I've ever met in my life. Maybe that's your superpower, you know? Big brain. I don't know about that. What was that? That was my phone. My house alarm's going off. No, that means there's trouble. Oh no, the house is on fire. What happened to this place? Scott, mom, dad, where are you guys? Oh no, Scott. Come on, let's get you outside. Oh man, you're heavy. Ugh. Scott, wake up. Wake up right now. Seth, Seth, what are you doing? Scott, what happened? It was Dr. Zero. He broke into the house and attacked mom and dad. He took them. What? He came out of nowhere. We don't even know how he found us. I tried to fight back, but Dr. Zero was way too strong. He knocked me out. 
no, this is so bad. We have to save them. How are we gonna do that when we have no idea where he took them? You don't know the first thing about being a hero. Don't you remember those trackers that I invented? I can track where they are through their suits. Yeah, I doubt that will work. Oh yeah? Then what's this? Is that them? Yeah, so now we can go find them together. I can save mom and dad on my own. I mean, what are you gonna do? Scott, for once, put your ego aside. You have to let me help. You can't do it without me. Uh, fine. You can come with me. You have to stay out of my way. Yeah, this is definitely the place. Looks like Dr. Zero's lab. There's guards everywhere. But we can probably sneak inside. We? Just shut up, Seth. You're not going inside. What are you talking about? You're gonna stay put. No way! I have something for you that will help. It's that gauntlet that I made. Look, dude, enough of you and your dumb inventions, okay? I'm not using that thing. I have to go in there and save mom and dad. What is wrong with you? It's my mom and dad, too. I would do anything to save them. Ugh, you are so frustrating, Seth. It is my job to protect you. I'm your older brother, and you need to do what I say. I'm not a little kid anymore, and you need to give me at least one chance. Now you're going to shut up and stay put. <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand by and do nothing. I can still be a hero. Oh no, Scott! Ah! Ah! Oh, your attempt to stop me is pathetic. Your parents are doomed. I'm going to turn them into robots and steal their power. Scott, are you okay? Oh. Seth, what are you doing? Get out of here! I'm not going anywhere. Here, you need to put this on. Come on, seriously? Just do it. It's gonna double your power. Just have some faith in me. <sighs> Fine, whatever. Oh, and this must be the little brother, huh? I will destroy you and him. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Did you just threaten my little brother? No way. You're gonna stay away from my family. Whoa, hold on. Ah! This thing really kicks! Yes, it worked! Yeah, yeah, it worked. Look, we don't have time to celebrate. We need to find mom and dad. It looks like we're gonna be turned into robots after all. We don't have time for this. We need to find a way out. Mom, dad, there you are! Boys! Scott, try to use your powers on the machine. Yeah, you've got it. <laughs> oh no, there's no effect. Oh no, I've gotta do something. I think this thing is running off of a computer. Give me one second. If I hack inside it, maybe I can shut it down. Hurry, Seth, there's not a lot of time. You did it! You boys saved us. I didn't save you guys. It was Seth. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Leave the baby here. You really think I want something that has this much power? Give me a break. I do still love this baby, though. Gosh, this baby is gonna destroy us. We gotta get out of here now. Oh my goodness, this baby has superpowers. Oh, I'm sorry, little guy. I guess you can live here with me. I will name you Dale. Oh, I can't believe it. This is my first time at a birthday party. I hope no one finds out about my powers. Hey, Jimmy, thanks for inviting me to your party. Cha, it's like whatever, man. I invite everyone to my party. Well, I, I really appreciate it. It's my first time Ch I've ever- Shut up, Dale. The only reason why you're here to begin with is because my mom is friends with Kelsey, and she made me invite you. I didn't realize your mom was friends with my mom. She's not your mom, you idiot. She runs the orphanage that you live in, all right? Okay, man. Th thanks for the invite. Cha, whatever. <laughs> oh, no! What's going on? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You, you're a freak, mom. Get out of here. I don't know what happened. You came in here and you ruined my entire birthday party. Now just get out. All right, I'm sorry. You're a freak. Hey, Dale. Why are you back from the party so early? Dude, I accidentally ruined everything. Oh, no. Did you use your powers again? Yeah, man. Everyone thinks I'm a freak, but I don't care. Why should I be ashamed of it, you know? Yeah, but... You know how much trouble that gets you in. I can't help it. This is who I am. It doesn't make me feel good having to pretend like I'm somebody else. Well, if it makes you feel any better, Dale, I don't think you're a freak because of it. You're going to figure out these powers, and you're going to do great things, okay? I know, man. That's why you're my best friend. You're the only person in this orphanage that's ever been nice to me, besides Kelsey. Dale, I thought I told you not to use your powers at that party. Look, I can't help it. I don't know how to control my powers, okay? I sneezed, and then everything exploded. I don't know what to do. You're in big trouble, and you need to start listening to me. All right, I'll try to keep them under control. Okay, and go! Oh, man, what the heck? I don't understand why these powers come and go. I don't know what to do. I know I'll get it someday. I know it. Help! Help! Hey, yeah, get back here, you stupid old lady. Oh, no, please, somebody help Gosh, me. Gosh, I gotta help this person. There's only a way that I can get there faster. I'm so slow at running. Oh, my gosh, I'm flying! I want all of your money, all right? Hey, you! Stop what you're doing! Ah, it's a superhero! I'm out of here, man! I'm out! Not so fast! Yeah! Ah!
Th thank you for saving me. Yeah, you're welcome. Don't tell anyone it was me, okay? I'm gonna bring this guy to the police station. You never saw me. I didn't see anything. Oh, no, it's on the news? Dale, did you save that woman? Yeah, I did, and I'm not gonna apologize for what I did, okay? I'm really proud of you for using your powers for good, okay? It's just, I get really nervous sometimes about it. Wait, you really mean that? It's okay to use my powers for good? I'll go get it. Hey, this is, uh, the orphanage, right? Uh, yes, uh, why are you here? The mayor actually sent me to check on a report of a person with powers living here. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, they want to bring that person down to the station for questioning. You happen to know who this individual is? Um, no, there's no person here that has powers. <laughs> you wouldn't be lying to me now, miss, would you? <laughs> no, 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 I'm positive. <laughs> okay, but just know we're watching this place closely. All right, officer. <laughs> Man, that was close. I know, you gotta be more careful. Man, you're just so lucky that you didn't get caught. I know. I hate that I have to keep my powers a secret. I don't get why the town hates me for saving someone. Yeah, I don't either, but, you know, it's how life works sometimes. I don't care, though. My powers are a gift. If I can help people, then why am I going to be ashamed of All right, everybody, give me all you got! Oh my gosh, Dale! Uh, please, don't hurt me! Just give me the money, stupid! There goes nothing. Hey, take this! Whoa! Oh my gosh, that little freak over there with the powers just saved uh, me! I guess you're welcome. Come on, Dale, we got to get out of here quick! Yeah, get out! here i don't trust you you're scaring me no matter what i do people think that i'm bad i just stopped a robber hey 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 what's wrong with you two nothing uh, i'm tired dale yes did you use your powers again yeah i did okay but i stopped a robber and then i remembered that it probably wasn't such a good idea what you're doing is good but not many other people see it that way i don't understand why it's because they see you as a villain you're very powerful but that doesn't make any sense all i do is good things i don't use my powers to hurt anybody and i never would i know you wouldn't i just am worried about what other people may think who cares what other people think when they're in need i'm there it's so frustrating that they don't see it that way Dale, go hide. Hi, are you Kelsey? Uh, yes, that's me. Yeah, so I heard that you're protecting some sort of criminal with superpowers. And I want you to know that I don't like criminals with superpowers. Um, I didn't know it was a crime to be a superhero. I don't like people taking the law into their own hands, you understand? I do understand, but luckily there's no superheroes Look, don't here. don't play stupid with me, okay? I'm the mayor of this town, I know everything. If that little freak is living here, you better tell him to stay out of my town! You're a freak! Now get off my property! That's fine, I will, but this isn't over. Man, this is so frustrating. I'm just trying to do good for people, and nobody sees it that way. My whole life, no one's ever understood me. I've been abandoned, I've been made fun of, and still, all I'm trying to do is help, and no one cares. I can't let it change me, though. I have to keep doing good. Help! Help! No! Jeez, this car crash is terrible! Uh, hey, it's gonna be okay. Oh, please, help me! Right, don't worry, I'm gonna help you out. How are you gonna do that? Here, just like this, come on. Ah! Don't worry, I'll get you to the hospital. Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, freeze right there! Oh, hey, sorry about the- uh, true. Oh, no! Oh. Ah, what the heck, man? I'm, I'm sorry, it was an accident. Yeah, 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 I'm sure it was. Don't move, all right? Oh, leave me alone, I didn't do anything wrong! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, it got so out of control. Dale, you're in big trouble. I don't care, okay? Stop using your powers. How many times do I have to tell you that? Look, I'm not gonna stop using them, okay? I need to learn how to control them better. But that guy could have died if I wasn't there to help him. Look, I'm just doing this to protect you. I was given these powers for a reason, wasn't I? I feel like I'm here to help people. I don't know why people just can't accept that. People can be cruel when they don't have a full understanding of what's going on. They're jealous of your powers, and they're scared of them. You just need to be more careful. I know I need to learn how to contain my power. I think it's just gonna happen with time. I mean, other superheroes can. Look, regardless, I've been alone my whole life. And the only person that ever stood up for me was you. And there's a bunch of other people out there just like me that never had anybody take care of them. They've been alone and they've been hurt. And if I can stop them from feeling like that for even one second, then I'm going to spend my entire life doing that. Oh, no. Dale, get in the car. We have to go. Now. All right, here we are. The mayor. Dale, don't be worried. Everything will be okay, all right? Yeah, of course. 
Well, there he is, the real criminal. I can't believe you protect this little creep. I've been saving people all around your city. Why are you acting like this? Because people with power can't be trusted. You have power. Why should we trust you then? Well, luckily, I'm the mayor, and I don't have to answer stupid questions. I don't need your trust. I run this town. What I say goes. Look, I didn't mean to misuse my power. I was just trying to save that guy from the car, and I got scared. I was trying to help. Well, we don't need your help in this city, okay? You need to go far away from this town. Please. Don't take him away. They have no choice. He either leaves or we lock him up until he's a grown-up, and then we lock him up again. Please, Kelsey's my only family. She's the only one that I have. You say that like I care. I've got an entire city to take care of, okay? I can't be worrying about your stupid feelings. Please, Kelsey, I don't want to go. Dale, I don't want you to go either. I'll take you to my brother's farm, all right? And I'll come visit you as many times as I can. You know what, Mayor? You're an awful person. All I wanted to do is help your city, and now you're just being selfish. You're taking my family away from me again. I don't care. This freak needs to leave, and he needs to leave now. Come on, Dale. Let's get out of here. Hey, Uncle Clark. My goodness, Dale. How many times do I have to tell you no flying on the farm? Look, I'm sorry, okay, but... No buts, all right? After eight years, you think you learned to listen. Hey, I really appreciate you letting me live here after I got kicked out of the city. Of course. What was I gonna do? Let you roam on the streets? Come on, let's go inside. All right, good. I'm starving. What's for dinner? In other news, there is a supervillain destroying this Wait, town. Wait, that's my city. That's right. It feels as if there's more supervillains than their heroes. Will there be somebody to stop them? Who knows? I gotta help them, Uncle Claude. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm letting you go over there. That's too dangerous. No, it's not too dangerous. Don't you remember what that mayor over there did to you? He told everyone that you were a villain, all right? You have to lay low until more people accept you for who you are. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I'm just worried about Kelsey and Ted. They're strong people. They can hold themselves up. Also, I uh, forgot to get stuff for dinner, so mind going to the store? <sighs> After all that, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll go get some groceries. And no flying! I love living here with my uncle, but sometimes I wish that I could just go home. I hate only seeing Kelsey once in a while. It just feels like I've been abandoned. She really is my mom. I hate hiding. I don't want to pretend that I'm someone else. Oh my no, another accident. This car, it's on fire. Please, goodness, help me. Here you go, quick. Oh, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You just saved me. How, how, how'd you do hey, it? Hey, look, man, you never saw me, okay? What do you mean you, you saved me? Of course I saw you. Who even are you? Don't worry about it. Just a guy trying to do the right thing. Wait, wait a minute. You're flying. I need to go tell Barbara. All right, Uncle Clark, I got the food. Hey, what's wrong, man? I, I, I can't believe this is happening. Tell me what's wrong. Kelsey, she... She was in that attack by that super villain. Is she okay? No, she she's hurt pretty bad. Oh my gosh! I can't do this anymore! No, 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 no. Dale, just, just, just calm down, all right? Calm down. Ah! Dale, what did I say? Calm down! This villain's destroying the city that I grew up in. It hurt the closest thing that I've ever had to a mother. I'm not just gonna sit here because everyone thinks that I should be something else. This is who I am! You're not thinking clearly, all right? You need to think this through. You're angry. Last time I checked, it's my job to protect people, and I'm not I'm not gonna sit back and watch this happen Wait, anymore. Dale, Dale! Look at this place. How could someone do this? I need to find this guy before he does something even crazier. Hey, super villain! Whoever you are, show yourself! Who is this weak, pathetic freak in front of me? Shut up, man. I'm more powerful than you. Oh, yeah? You really think that? What are you gonna do to me? The greatest super villain of them all! Yeah, we'll see about that. Take this! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought you were gonna destroy me. Get back here and fight. I'll deal with him after. I gotta find Kelsey. I gotta make sure that she's okay. Mom, I'm here. Dale? What are you doing here? I just needed to make sure you're okay. Uncle Clark told me everything. I'm fine, but you're not gonna be if the mayor finds out that you're here. Look, relax. Nobody knows that I'm here. I just don't want you to get in trouble, Dale. Don't you get it? Everything in life has a purpose. I was given this beautiful gift, and I'm not just gonna sit around and not use it. I'm so proud of you, Dale. Just please be careful. I will. Plus... If he keeps getting away with it, much stronger villains are going to figure out that they can destroy this place. Pretty soon, this is not going to be a city left. Look, I'm going to go find a place to hide out for a while, but I'll be around. Don't worry, I'm not going to let anything else happen to this city. Oh man, this is the only place that I think I can hide out. It's alright though. I don't need anything fancy. I'm just glad that I can keep my city safe, even though they rejected me. Oh, there you are. 
Oh, you didn't learn your lesson the first time? I didn't think that you were that stupid to come back. I thought I was gonna have to try to find you myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy there. I'm not gonna take it easy, man. You hurt a lot of people I care about. Listen, I think we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Josh, and you are? Don't worry about my name. What do you want? Isn't it obvious what all villains want to be seen as what we are meant to be? I grew up with people just not understanding that I was meant to be more than just a, a grocery store clerk. I have powers. Everyone made fun of me for it. So you decided to take it out on everyone else? That seems like a really stupid thing to do. No, they were the stupid ones. They were the ones who didn't give me a chance. They were the ones who laughed at me and put me down every single chance that they got. Yeah, well, you were given a beautiful gift. Who cares if they make fun of you if they don't understand? understand. You have responsibility. And that responsibility is to do good, to help people. Who cares if people made fun of you? Grow up! I thought you would be smarter than this. Everyone has a responsibility, and mine is to put light to the evil that's within all of us! I've had enough of this conversation! It's going nowhere! <laughs> you are going to lose this battle, do you understand me? Oh man, I can't believe Ted's got his own place. I haven't seen him in eight years. I, I hope everything's cool. Uh, hello? Who, who, who's there? Ted, I'm so happy to see you. What are you doing you. here? Oh, what do you mean? Calm down. I just came back to see you. Yeah, right. You're a villain now. Get away from me. What are you talking about? I'm not a villain. I came here to stop the villain. You think that I would come here and destroy the city? You're right. I, I didn't want it to be true either. Just uh, come in. All right, wow, this is a cool place. Wait, the mayor? That's right, the evil supervillain is back. He was banished as a kid, and now he came back to get his revenge. His name is Dale, and he should not be trusted. He might tell you he's doing good, but he's evil, I tell you. Trust me, I'm the mayor. None of this is true. What the heck is this guy's problem? How does he even remember me? You can see now why I thought you were evil. Gosh, this guy's brainwashing people. This town needs superheroes. It can't just be all villains. You know how much the mayor hates you guys. Really, it's not a good idea for you to stick around that long. I'm being framed, don't you get it? I need to clear my name before it's too late. I know. Let's just hope you can figure out how to do it fast. I'll be in contact, but I gotta go. I, I don't want to get you in any trouble. Mom, it wasn't me! I didn't attack the town! M Hello? Mom? Wait, where is she? Excuse me, doctor! Where did that woman in that room go? Some strange man arrived and, and took her. Said that she was family or something? Wait, no! Who took her? Uh, I don't know. He, he said his name was Josh or something. Said he was really close with her. Gosh, that's a supervillain! What are you doing, man? Do better! Wait a second! You're, you're a liar! You're the supervillain I saw on TV! The mayor said that you were evil! I'm not the supervillain! You've got it all wrong! No, no, no! I got everything right, alright? I got a doctrine's degree! This this guy's evil, everyone! Not me. I don't have time for this. I gotta get some answers. Yeah, it's about time you showed up. What is your problem? You know that I didn't do any of this villain stuff. Wow, you're a genius on top of having superpowers, aren't you? That villain is super weak. You guys could have handled him easily. Why didn't you? Well, I had a better plan. You're gonna stop him some other way? Well, no, but if we stopped him, we'd have no way to frame you. So you're admitting it. What is your problem? You're the only person with power strong enough to beat me. If I made this town hate and fear you, then nothing you do will ever look good, and I'll be able to lock you up. Wait a minute. So what do you have to gain from this? Wait, have you been the villain the whole time? Of course. How do you think I live in this mansion? I rob and steal everybody, and I use you as my scapegoat. A lot of people have been hurt because of you. My own mom was hurt, and now she's missing because of you. You don't have a mom. That's Kelsey. She just took care uh, of you. Don't talk about my family like that ever again! Calm down. It shouldn't be hard to find where that idiot took her anyway. I'm gonna stop you. I'm gonna expose everything that you've done. You better not step foot in the city ever again, or else you're gonna be in trouble. This isn't finished, Mayor, and I'll be back. I expect you to be. All right, this must be the place. Man, this guy's really bad at not leaving a trail behind. Mom? Mom! Dale? Is that you? Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're safe. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry this happened to you because of me. This isn't your fault. Maybe if you were here, this town would be a better place. The mayor isn't gonna let that happen. He might be the biggest criminal of all. Well, well, well. I knew kidnapping your mother would get you here. Take this! Oh, oh. Man, why does that keep happening? Never letting you do anything like this ever again. You're gonna be locked up for a long time. People like you don't get to take out your hurt on other people. It's wrong. And mom, I don't know if this place is safe for you anymore. I'll be fine. I, I still have that orphanage to run. I just can't bail on all those kids. Try to make sure that you're protected is best going forward. And you, you're coming with me. I've had enough of you. Oh, oh, man.
Okay, everything's gonna be okay, I oh, promise. Oh, man, please help me. Don't worry, I have you. Come on. All right, you're safe now. Are you okay? No, not anymore. I was waiting for the police to get here. Not some super freak like you. I'm trying to save you. I've heard around all about who you are. You are evil. Well, I'm glad that you're okay. Go away and never return. I still can't believe after all these years, the mayor has everybody's minds poisoned like this. They all still think I'm a villain. It's ridiculous. Hey, Ted, is my mom and uncle okay? Yeah, they are. And the orphanage is fine, too. Good. Ted, I just want to thank you for helping me over these years. It really means a lot to me, you know? Of course. You've been my best friend since we were kids. I'm just sorry that, you know, I didn't believe you when you first visited back. Look, man, you signed up for a pretty dangerous task. That mayor is not happy. Yeah, when is he ever, though? Have you found anything useful on him? Well, all that money that's been robbed has been traced all the way back to him. It's under a code name, though, so we can't really prove anything. I know that there's going to be more robberies. The crime is getting out of control. This mayor is going nuts. But I wonder if we can get some people that he works with to talk, you know? You know, that might be the best bet talking to his close connections. I'm just gonna go take care of this now. I'm so tired of this guy ruining everyone's lives. Be careful, Dale. Don't wanna blow her cover. What are these guys up to? This is a perfect chance to get some information on the mayor. Who is that? What is this freak doing here? Don't you know everyone in this town hates you? Hey, you guys can both stop right now, and I promise I won't hurt either of you. I'm a super villain. There's nothing you're gonna do to me. Yeah, you're stupid, man. That mayor's got a back. All right, you asked for it. Ah! All right, now you guys better start talking. What is the mayor up to? I need answers right now. Hey, <laughs> you ain't gonna get a word from us. Yeah, dude, we don't fall that easily. Then I'm gonna take you both to jail, and they'll never let you out. Even if you were gonna do that? They let us out in no time. I'm not worried. Yeah, you seem to forgot whose side the mayor is on, you idiot. Sooner or later, this entire town's gonna be coming for you. Wait, what do you mean? The mayor just lets you out of jail? And trust me when I say that he has big plans for you. How can this be happening? I gotta look into this. What is your problem? How can you let these criminals go free? You're supposed to be the police chief. Hey, aren't you the worst villain of them all? I'm not a villain. I'm the only one trying to stop this madness from happening. Think what you want about me, but you're the one that's the criminal. Yeah, and I was right. There is a good person out there with powers. I need you to answer this for me. Why would you let people go? Listen, I have no control of what's going on over here. Every time I put someone behind the bars, the mayor comes over and lets them walk. How is that even possible? You're the chief of police. I wish that were true at this point, but as of right now, I have no power while that mayor is still here. So what are you doing about it? Oh, trust me. I have my own little investigation going on with the mayor. But a lot of the criminals that have been brought in here have been spying for him, shutting down my investigation. Investigation constantly. There's got to be something that we can do about this. The city's getting destroyed. But you know, may make this a lot easier for the both of us. I'm willing to work with you if you're willing to work with me. I actually might have a solution to this problem. Are you in to help? Of course I am. Let's do it. All right, all right. Put all the money in the bag, man. All right, it's time for you to surrender. <laughs> I thought I already went over this with you, tough guy. Man, your voice is so annoying. You're coming with me. <laughs> I'll be walking out of the police station by the end of the night, stupid. Well, this time, I'm not bringing you to the police station. Here we go, just as I promised. Oh, there you guys are. Hey, let me go! Well, we're out of the mayor's jurisdiction now. There's nothing that he can do here. Yeah, so it's probably best that you start talking. The mayor promised me a million dollars, okay? So what's the mayor's plan working with all these criminals? Why does he keep letting you walk? The mayor recruits villains and criminals to come here. We commit the crimes for him, and he makes a profit off of it. I knew he was up to something foul. He's slowly becoming the richest person in the world, and he plans to take over more cities. Pretty soon, all the Roblox will just be criminals. We really gotta stop this guy before it's too late. It's important that you go back to the city and deal with this. I'll handle this villain. No way, come on! Shut up! That super villain, Dale, has stopped yet another robbery. There has been a big decrease in crime over the last two weeks. I think this Dale character of ours, who we once thought was a villain, may actually be the hero we need. What? Where are my men? Greg, get over here! How? Are these criminals not out of jail now? And why does everyone think that Dale is a good person? He's been out sparting us with every move, all right? We're trying our best. You work for me. We're the smartest people in the world. He's been taking them to the jails outside of the city. Why haven't you broken them out? Listen, we've, we've been trying, all right? We've done several attempts to have them set free, but nothing's been working in our favor. My gosh. We need to destroy Dale once and for all. 
Oh no, no, no. Hey, are you guys okay? Uh, I can't believe it. It's my home and it's, it's gone. The place is completely destroyed. Who was this? Who did this? It was so fast. I, I don't know what happened. It's gotta be the mayor trying to send me a message. Listen, Dale, I told you from the beginning, all right? This man just has to stop. I know it's hard trying to do everything all at once. The best I can do for now is you guys all have to stay in my underground base. I don't want anyone else to be unsafe. And I promise I won't let anything else happen to you. That's, That's right, right, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. I'm, I'm sure, sure that you, that you have, have all noticed, noticed the crime has been going, going down this last, last month, month tremendously. tremendously. I, want I want you all, all to know, know that, that I've been working, working hard with the only, only superhero, superhero that existed in this town. town. Damn. <laughs> As, As you, you all have known, known you have, have all been, been lied, lied to over the years. Dale, Dale has been a hero all along and has been blamed for the crimes of others. If it weren't for him, this town would have been completely destroyed. We have enough evidence to share that the mayor has been the one behind all of this. Thanks for the kind words, Chief. Citizens of Roblox, I promise you that we're going to put an end to this crime and violence. I was given this gift of powers, and I promise I'll always use them for good. I know many of you have friends and family. When I was abandoned as a child, there were only a few people that took me in and made me feel like I belong. I know how precious that gift is, and I promise I'll protect your friends and family like I would my own. We're gonna take, take down, down the evil mayor! mayor. I, I promise. promise! Yeah, take down the mayor! How are there no criminals left to help us, Greg? Listen, I I'm sorry, all right? Things haven't been this bad in a while. You let those stupid idiots talk about me on TV! Yeah, and, uh... I haven't told you yet, but it's even a little worse. The press conference, they, they just called you out. My goodness. So they know what I've done? All of them. Every single person. My gosh, how could this happen? You had a backup plan or something, right? Like, we can't just spend the rest of our lives buying bars. Good thing I hid all my money and moved everything out of my house. All they'll find is an empty place there after the next Are robbery. Are you listening to what I'm saying? We have no more super villains. We don't need them. The town's gonna be so distracted with Dale, we can do this robbery ourselves. One billion Robux. Do you understand what that means? That's a lot, but uh, I don't know. I'll do this myself, but you're not getting a dime from me. You know what? Fine. I don't care anyway. Good. I'm out. Go. Don't stand in my way. All right, that's the last of it. These idiots are never gonna catch me. I'm gonna make it out with one billion Robux. Hey, get back here. Ha, you missed. Not today. Oh, man, I can't believe I got away with it. No one's ever gonna stop me now. Ah! Get away from me! Stop running! Oh! You've committed your last crime! No, let me go! No, you've hurt the city long enough. It's over. You are so irresponsible sometimes, Jackson. It drives me crazy! You know what, Dad? I've had it! Get back here! No, I'm tired of fighting with you! This storm is terrible! Like I care! Anything's better than being here right now. I just wish I had a better life. Ah! Oh, man, did I just get struck by lightning? What is this? I have this strange power coursing through me. What's happening? Oh my god! Ah! Oh, man. Jackson. Jackson, are you okay? Jackson. What's going on? He's awake. Jackson, how are you feeling right now? Actually, I'm feeling okay. Jackson, never run away from me again. Do you understand me? <sighs> Dad, it was just an accident. You need to relax. I already lost half my family. I don't need to lose you too. You know, if you weren't being so selfish, none of this would have happened. You know what, Dad? You've been nothing but terrible since Mom died. How dare you? Hey, uh, everything okay, you guys? Yeah, you know what? Everything is fine. I'm done with this. Uh, Jackson! What was that? I have superpowers or something? Man, what am I gonna do? It looks like that lightning bolt really did affect me. Wait, oh no, I'm getting the same feeling again. Ah! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! Are you kidding me, Jackson? Todd, I swear it was an accident! Hi, right, boys, we need you down here at the trailer park. Looks like we got an upset kid who just said fire to his house. So your house just caught on fire out of nowhere? Dude, that's crazy. I'm glad you're okay, though. Yeah, I'm glad I'm okay, too. It's all just so much. I'm really sorry you and your dad haven't been getting along either. It sucks, dude. Me and my dad haven't gotten along since my mom died. I mean, there is a positive in all this, I guess. At least your house didn't burn down. Yeah, I guess at least there's that. I wonder how that fire started anyways. Do you have any idea? Well, you see, Melvin- Hey, loses! Oh, great. What do you want, Ted? Lunch is next period and I'm hungry. You guys are paying for it. Hand over your lunch money. We are not paying for your lunch, Ted. Just leave us alone. Oh, I'm sick of you two. Oh! oh! 
Whoa! Hey, leave him alone! Ah! What was that? You're a freak! Oh no. No, I gotta get out of here! <sighs> okay. I think I lost him. I'm starting to get worried these powers are actually gonna be a curse. Well, I've gotta hide them from everyone. Nobody can know about this. I don't wanna hurt anyone else. Hey, you over there! <sighs> oh, what's wrong? What are you doing in this part of town, huh? Shouldn't you be in school? I was just trying to get away from a bully. Oh, really? Because you're the only person I see here. I don't see no bully. <sighs> Listen, officer, I didn't do anything. I just want to go home. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Apparently, there's someone running around with superpowers. Is that you? What? Superpowers? That's ridiculous. You're lying to my face, aren't you? No, please, you don't Shut understand. Shut up, kid. You're coming with me. So, Jackson... If that's really your name, how'd you get your superpowers, huh? I'm telling you, I don't have any. So if you're not one of these big fancy superheroes, so who do you work for, huh? I'm telling you, no one. Yeah, yeah, that's what they all say. Look, officer, I didn't do anything wrong. And even if I did have powers, I would only use them for good. Yeah, well, the last person that told that to my face robbed every bank in Roblox. You think I'm really that stupid? No, but you have the wrong person. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, shut up, shut up. I'm getting a call on my radio. Yeah, Officer Percy here. What? All right, understood. You're getting bailed out. Oh, well, that's a relief. Let me tell you something, young man. You're lucky, and I'm going to have my eyes on you. Understood? Yeah, sure, I get it. Just have a good day, Officer. Really, Jackson? My son's a criminal now? Dad, what is your problem? Why have you been so mean? Oh, you have been so selfish. I don't know who you are anymore. Yeah, and I don't know who you are. You're just proving my point that you've been getting worse ever since mom died. Dad, what's happening to us? What's happening to us? What is happening to you? You keep acting out, getting in trouble, and then blaming it on me. And I've had just about enough of it, Jackson. Now get in the car. I don't want to go anywhere with you. You know what, Jackson? Fine. Run off like you always do. Oh, maybe my dad was right. Oh, this sucks. Yo, hey, dude, hold up. Do I know you? Not yet. Name's Lincoln, and I knew it's happened to you, man. What are you even talking about? Most people just don't understand people like us, you know? People like us? What do you mean? This is what I mean. You looked a little hungry. You want a burger? Whoa, what the heck? I can't believe it. You have superpowers too? Super speed, and it's awesome. And I know you got in trouble with the cops. Yeah, I did. I actually just got the powers, and I'm still trying to understand how to use them. God, see what I mean, dude? No one's going to understand what we're going through except for people like us. You're totally right. Say, are you a superhero? Yeah, uh, maybe like some people, I don't know. For me, I'm just Lincoln, you know? We should hang out more. Maybe we can get some training in and really test these superpowers. Yeah, I'd love that. Awesome. I'll catch you later, dude. See ya. Wow, I finally have a friend that understands me. What is going on? Freaking out over here. Look, Melvin, it's a long story. Well, you better start explaining it, dude. I don't know if I can trust you. Jackson, I'm your best friend. I need to know about this. Fine, you know what? I'll tell you what happened. I think I have superpowers. What? You know when my house caught on fire, right? Well, that was me. That was these powers. Dude, that's incredible. I still don't know how to control them. I just want to make sure that I can use them for good. So what are you going to do? Be like one of the new Avengers or something? Well, I don't know about that, but I did just meet someone else who has powers. Wait, really? Yeah, his name is Lincoln. I think I'm going to hang out with him this weekend. That's cool and all, Jackson, but just be careful, okay? There are those crazy supervillains out there. You know, I think I can tell the difference between right and wrong, Melvin. You know what, dude? Whatever. You're just not going to understand. You're not like us. Not like us? You know, whatever, Jackson. Well, 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 it's 7.30 and Jackson is just getting home. Yeah, whatever, Dad. I don't care. Jackson, I set these rules for a reason. I have to keep my eye on you because who knows what you've gotten into. Yeah, well, I don't care what you think, Dad. I just came home to get some stuff before hanging out with my friend. So you're home for one second and you're leaving? No, you are forbidden to leave this house. Well, I'm leaving whether you like it or not. Jackson, what has gotten into you? Dad, what are you not understanding? It's you. You're the person that's changed. I just don't understand you anymore, Jackson. Yeah, the feeling's mutual, Dad. Lincoln, hey! Now look, dude, I have something planned, and I really want you to be part of it. Uh, I'm pulling a prank on one of my friends. This is gonna be so funny. A prank? 
Oh, I love pranks. Yeah, so what I need you to do is use your powers on that door right there. Piece of cake. All right, so what's the plan now? Oh, what's going on? What's going on, idiot, is you're going to give me all your money right now. Sure, just, just don't hurt me. Shut up and hurry up, idiot. What are we doing? This isn't a prank. Well, it was funny to me. The look on that guy's face. <laughs> Lincoln, none of this is right. We're supposed to be heroes. You need to give that money back. Give the money back? Are you stupid too? No, I'm not stupid. I just know how to do the right thing. You and I are outcasts. And plus, we have superpowers. We can do literally whatever we want. Oh, man, the idiot called the cops. Great. Look at what you did, Lincoln. Or like what you did. Later, loser. What? Lincoln, hey, get back here. Hey, yo, stop right there. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe Lincoln did this. I think Melvin was right. All right. Now tell me right now, which one of these criminals was the one that robbed your store? Uh, let's see, uh... Dude, none of these people robbed my store. What? What are you talking about? I don't see the guy here. What about that one right there? We caught him outside your store. It had to have been him. Well, he was with him. Like, I could hear him telling the other guy to not steal from That's me. That's exactly what I told you! Shut up and stop talking! That's what happened. This guy's telling the truth. Ugh, whatever, fine. You're all free to go. And you, you know, I'm watching you! Yeah, officer, I know. Jackson? You know what, Dad? I don't want to hear it. Oh, well, you're gonna hear it, young man. I'm sorry, okay? But I didn't do anything wrong. I trusted the wrong person, and I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. But I swear, I didn't do anything. You can't keep blaming people for things that go wrong. You are such a disappointment. Dad, don't say that. I'm sorry. If your mother was still here, she wouldn't recognize you, just like I don't recognize you now. You know what? That's it! Oh! What the? Jackson? What was that? Do you have superpowers? Yes, Dad. I do. And I'm just trying to figure them out. I can't believe this. You would hide something like this from me? Get out of here. I don't want you here anymore. Well, it's a good thing that you weren't arrested, right? Melvin, I need to make a change. I need to use these powers for good. And like, become a real superhero? I need to prove everyone wrong that thinks that I'm a terrible person. I also want to make sure that guys like Lincoln can never take advantage of people without powers ever again. Well, I can try my best to help you, but I don't know much about being a hero. Honestly, having you here is better than nothing. You're my best friend. Well, if you really want to be a superhero and you really want my help, I can at least train you a little bit. What do you say? I say yes. Let's get started right away. Come on, you've got a couple more reps in you. Keep pushing. Ugh, I've got this! Come on, a superhero needs to run fast. Let's go! Well, I think you've gotten a little stronger, and you're definitely a little faster. Melvin, thank you so much for helping me. Yeah, of course, dude. But I don't think you've reached your full potential yet. I think it's time that you start training with a real superhero. Maybe you're right, but I do appreciate what you did for me. I feel like I have enough control to at least talk to Lincoln. Maybe I can convince him to turn himself in. You really think you can? Well, it's worth a try. Let's see, how am I gonna find someone with super speed? I mean, they could be anywhere on the planet. Oh no, it sounds like the bank is getting robbed. I'm a little nervous. It's my first time actually being a superhero, but it's my job to help people in trouble. <laughs> please, please, sir, just just take all the money. Don't hurt me. Yeah, shut up, whatever. Lincoln, stop. Oh, Jackson. Oh, I figured you would have, like, blasted yourself off the face of the planet or something with your stupid powers. Hey, you want to rob this bank with me real quick? You bailed on me, and you ruined my life. Ruined your life? Oh, my gosh, you're so dramatic. Dude, who cares about anybody else? You have superpowers. You should have used it to get out of trouble. No way. Dude, we need to use our powers for good and to help people. We have a responsibility to the city. Oh my gosh, you sound so boring right now. You know, dude, I don't need this from you. You just sound like everybody else. Well, I'm telling you, you're wrong. Give that money back. I thought we were friends, Jackson. Yeah, I thought we were too, but I guess not. Huh! Oh, seriously, dude, you missed. You know what? You may be fast, but I could still catch you, Lincoln. I highly doubt it, loser. Oh, oh. Later, punk. Oh. Uh, gone again. <sighs> Back here again. This time, I really want to make things right with my dad. I really hope that I can. Dad? Dad, are you home? 
Jackson, what are you doing back here? I just want to talk, Dad. Talk about what? You and your friends on the news robbing banks? Dad, that wasn't me. I tried to stop that robbery. Yeah, sure you did. Look, that's beside the point. I came back to say that I'm sorry. Oh, now you're sorry. I know things have been hard for both of us since Mom died, and we haven't exactly been getting along. Well, maybe you should stop being a criminal and acting out and start acting like the son I used to know, the son that your mother and I raised. Dad, I'm not being a criminal. My powers are never going to be used for that. I've got a duty to take care of the city now. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, well, now you're a comedian, huh, too? Jackson, you are a loser. You need to go out there and get a real job. You know what? I knew you were going to do this. I need to go. Yeah, you do need to go. Everything's going to be fine. I know I failed at stopping Lincoln, but things will get better. What was that? Hello? Is somebody there? Hello? What's this? Jackson, I know your secret. Meet me at the abandoned warehouse downtown? Oh, I bet this is Lincoln just messing with me. You know what? I'll go to that warehouse and I'll see what he wants. All right, this is the spot. What's going on in here? Hello? Lincoln, is it you in here? You better not be messing with me. Who's Lincoln? Oh! Hey, hey, wait, hold up. Sorry, sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Wait a second. You're Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, I am. Whoa, it's so cool to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, Jackson. How do you know who I am? Dude, I'm Spider-Man. Come on. Of course I know who you are. This is so cool. I wanted to talk to you. I want to be a hero really bad, but I'm worried. I wasn't able to stop my first crime. Honestly, I think I made it worse. Well, don't worry about that. You know how many times I messed up when I first started? Really? Yeah, I mean, I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. Well, so what did you do after that? Well, I didn't let that stop me, that's for sure. I just kept doing what heroes do. They try to do their best and continue to save people's lives. Wow, well, then that's exactly what I'll do too. I'll never give up until I'm truly a superhero. Yeah, man, that's the spirit. Look, man, I've got to go, but you need to go to superhero school, dude. Superhero school? That's a thing? Yeah, kind of a secret, and you have to be invited by another hero, but uh, I'm inviting you. Oh, I accept. Thank you so much. All right, guys, listen up. I'm going to be your coach. You can refer to me as coach. Is that understood? Yes, sir. So what are we going to be doing? Well, I'm going to train you and teach you how to unlock more of your superpower potential. More superpowers? How? With a sick training montage, that's how. Come on. You can do more. I know you can do more. <laughs> ah! Come on, you got to be laid on your toes. Let's go. All right, now there's one more thing that you need to do. Your ability to fly. Wait, you're telling me I can fly? How am I going to do that? Like this. Whoa! 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 I, I did it! I I'm flying! Woohoo! This is awesome! Whoa! I didn't know I could fly, coach! Honestly, I didn't know if that was going to work or not. Meet me here tomorrow morning. We're going to do more of this training. Let's unlock your true potential, Jackson. Uh, you must be Jackson. Uh, yes, sir, that's me. You wanted to see me? I did. My name is Bill, and I was assigned to be your superhero mentor. Wow, my mentor. Well, it's great to meet you. I've been watching your progress. You've come a long way since you started training here. Well, thank you so much. I'm excited to be giving you this. This is your superhero suit. Whoa, wait, this is mine? Yes, this used to be mine as well. Wait, th then I can't take it. I'm too old to fight crime and be a hero. Not as young as I used to be. It should be passed down to someone who can handle it. That is you. Are you sure about this? I believe in you. I believe you're going to do great things. Then I accept it. Wow. So what do you think? I love it. I think it fits you perfectly. This is so awesome. My first superhero suit. And just in time, we just got a report that there's a robbery happening in town, and they need a hero. Go on, Jackson. Save the day. Thank you so much, Bill. Oh, it's finally time to show everyone that I really can be a hero. Hey, you! Stop right there! Uh, what? Hand over the money. <laughs> what a stupid suit you're wearing, kid. This suit isn't stupid. My mentor gave it to me. Yeah, it's probably because he was too embarrassed to wear it himself. That's it! <laughs> oh. Whoa! I actually did it! Now you stay right here and talk to a couple of my friends. What the? What's going on here? Oh, man! 
You know, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this superhero thing. I'm feeling unstoppable. What was that noise? I better go check it out. It's time to turn yourself in, Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Jackson. Oh my gosh, look at you. What are you wearing? Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. You think having a superhero suit makes you more powerful and more cool than me now? It's not just the suit. It's all the training I did at superhero school. Oh my gosh, superhero school? Wow, that's so stupid. You know, I've been doing some training on my own without you. Check this out. Whoa! Oh my gosh, no! Lincoln, look what you... Where did he go? Man, so it's true. Lincoln really has chosen to be a super villain. At least the fire department's on their way. I gotta go. This superhuman known as Lincoln is at it again. This time he stole a bunch of gold and blew up a bunch of cars. Citizens of this city are terrified and angry. I can't believe he's still on the loose. Melvin, I've been trying to get this guy for over a year now. I don't know how I keep missing him. Dude, don't worry. You're going to get him eventually. I hope so. I just want the city to be okay. I don't want anyone to ever feel abandoned like he did. Yeah, Lincoln was abandoned and he's hurt, but it's not your responsibility to fix him. He needs to do that. But Lincoln was supposed to be my friend. He was supposed to understand me. I'm just glad you didn't turn your back on me. Of course, dude, you know I never would turn my back on you. I still can't believe the police are still looking for you. They still think you're a villain too. Yeah, I know, but they'll come around. I'm sure they will. Yeah, I hope they do, because you're doing good things out there. You're on their side after all. Exactly. Speaking of that, I've got to get back out there. Good luck and be safe. Uh, come on, I gotta get this car. Come on, let's start, stupid thing. Excuse me, I'm pretty sure that's not yours. Uh, get away from me, you freak! No, you're going downtown. Ha! Huh. Oh. Piece of cake. See, I'm out here saving the day, just like every other superhero. I just really wish the cops would believe me. I'm on their side. Well, it's off to the station with you. Uh. Hey, officers, another delivery for you. Hey, what the? Hey! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh, I'll get you one of these days! I just wish I could do something to get them to understand. I'll always protect this city. Sounds like a real jerk. I don't know, Bill. I just don't know if I'm cut out for this. I'm having a really hard time stopping Lincoln. The city's a mess! You just need to keep being selfless and do what you're doing. You're doing what's right, after all. I know I am. It's just really difficult. Who cares if people like you, what the city thinks? They will like the outcome of what you're doing. I know. I just need to know how to stop Lincoln. When the time is right, you will stop him. But Bill, even Spider-Man and Iron Man have been trying to help me, and even they haven't been able to stop him. Stopping Lincoln is your task and yours alone. You will know what to do, I promise. I believe in you. This is your fight, and you will finish it. It always overtakes evil. Thanks for the advice, Bill. And say, if you hear any information on Lincoln, please let me know as soon as possible. You know I will. You're the best, Bill. And thanks for being my friend. Man, it's times like these, I really wish I could just talk to my dad and get his advice. I'm sure he doesn't want to see me. And I really wish my mom could see me now. I sure hope she'd be proud of me. You know what? No, I know she would be proud of me. She was always so supportive. We need backup. The fire's out of control. We got a man inside. There's a man inside that house? I gotta help him. You? You're the one that's in here? Well, come on. We gotta get you out. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Officer, are you okay? Uh, what, what happened? Well, your house is burning down, so I saved you. You? <coughs> Thought you were a bad guy. Why would you save me? It's exactly what I've been trying to tell you over this whole year. I'm on your side, officer. I told you that I wanted to help the city, and I have been. I did find it kind of odd that you kept turning in criminals. Like, why would this guy do that? That's crazy. <coughs> Look, officer, all I want to do is to be friends and to work together to save this city. Yeah, yeah. You're all right. Wouldn't hurt having someone with superpowers helping me out. I'll help you any way I can. Good. It'll take me to a hospital. I'm not feeling so good. I want all you idiots right now to tell me what is wrong with you! You can't even complete a simple crime! It's that superhero Jackson! He's been breaking up more and more of our crimes around the city, Lincoln! Ugh, Jackson! Where does he get the nerve to mess with my guys? Doesn't he remember who I am? Ugh! 
Yeah, you tell him, boss. What makes him think he's strong enough to even take me down? He's pathetic. We have to do something to get back at him. We need to send a message. What do you have in mind, boss? I think I remember where he grew up. And I know he still has family. I think it's time to pay his dad a visit. Glad to have you here. I sent out a memo to everyone in the force saying that you're a hero and everyone should be working with you, not against you. That'll be a lot easier saving the day now without you guys getting in the way. Sorry again about everything before. The city's never really had a superhero before. Just, uh, super villains. I just hope I can change that and make it so there's no more villains. So, officer, what do you know about Lincoln, the super villain? We know he's got a ton of henchmen around the city trying to commit crimes constantly. Not really sure what his game plan is, but I know he's no good. We don't have a whole lot of evidence or information, but I'll give you everything we have. Perfect. Man, that makes my job a whole lot easier. Hey, how's your dad doing? When you got in trouble a year ago, him and I got to talking. He seems like a really good guy. About my dad, we haven't exactly talked much. Man, that's a shame. Listen, I lost my dad. But we didn't really talk. I really, really regret it. Wow, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe I will try to make up with him. Take it from me, you definitely should. It's been so long, I'm just worried my dad will still be mad at me. But I'm never gonna make things right if I don't talk to him. Here goes nothing. Dad! Dad, are you home? Hello? That's weird. He's not home. Dad! <laughs> Wait a second. Hey! Hey, you! Stop right there! Man! Uh, let me go! Let me go! No! Tell me what you're doing inside my dad's house! Now! Are you stupid? We kidnapped him! What? Let's just call it a special message from the boss! Lincoln's really mad at you! So this is Lincoln! Huh, I should've figured! Listen, if you want your dad back, it's super easy! Just quit being a hero, then we'll let him go! No way! I'll never do that! Well then your dad's gonna be locked away forever! And it's all your fault! Wow, then the two of you will have something in common then! What? Hey! Hey, put me down! Put me down! Jackson, who's this lowlife? Who are you calling a lowlife? Well, officer, this guy works for Lincoln. Make sure you lock him up forever. Yeah, no problem. What happened? Lincoln kidnapped my dad, and he's not gonna let him go unless I give up being a superhero. He's kidnapped your father? Oh, we're gonna get him for sure. The city's never been lower since that guy showed up. We have to stop him, Jackson. I know we do, but I can't let my dad stay in trouble like this. Well, I got an idea. Why don't we just fake it? Fake it? What are you talking about? We'll do the exchange. We'll get your dad back, and you can pretend and giving up a hero, but you don't actually have to. No, I, I like the sound of that. Let's give it a shot. Jackson! Yeah, about time you showed up. Dad, I'm so glad you're safe. Look, Lincoln, you win. Jackson, don't do this. Dad, I have to. Jackson, please, you can- Shut up, old man. Ugh, you're really gonna do it, huh? You're gonna quit being a hero? I will. And I'll let you do whatever you want. Just let my dad go. Jackson, no. I was wrong. There's so much more at stake than just me. Please, don't do this. Oh my gosh, this guy sucks. No, dad. I quit. Now let him go. Fine, as you wish. You're free to go, old man. Jackson, no. I'm so sorry. Please, you can't quit. I should never have been ashamed of you and who you were. You're doing the right thing. I know, dad. I love you so much. Oh, I love you so much. How boring. Ha! Huh? Uh! Jackson, no! You're coming with me. Oh, man. Dude, you are so weak. You took forever to wake up, and I didn't even blast you that hard. Oh, Lincoln, you're never going to get away with this. Oh, really? A shame. I already have. I got you to give up your whole stupid superhero gig. <laughs> you're never getting out of here. My reign of crime will continue, and you're gonna be locked here forever, and you're gonna watch it front row center. VIP tickets, Jackson! You sure sound confident, Lincoln. Oh, I'm very confident, thank you. So that's exactly why I came up with a plan. What? All right, boys, let's move, let's move! Got you now! Give it up, Lincoln, there's no escaping. You're working with them now? Of course I am. I'm a superhero. I had a GPS on me the entire time. Ha! Really? Just a normal cage? I am a superhero. Oh, shut up! You're going down! Not this time! Ha! Oh! It's over, Lincoln. Your reign of crime is over. <laughs>